The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest homosexual comedian that we know and love, Mr. J.P. Am I the only one? You're the only one yeah, I know, Doc. Yeah, that's fucked up. No, I, that, of course you, I'm your favorite. Well, at least that I know and love. Right, Mario Cantone won't return his emails. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's tried. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and you know him as the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. He's above his uh, going rate today. Because, no comment. Yeah. No no shit. Comment. No Keep comment. it short. Short all tweet. All show. <laughs> I have no opinion on the subject. I'm sure. I'm sure you don't. Uh, but no, we've got an excellent episode this week. Obviously, Derek is uh, back in the swing of things. Uh, baseball reference. Get that pun. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Jesus Christ, it's almost like Derek's setting? still here. Yeah, it's almost like he's here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Wow. Uh, I'm glad to be put on that pedestal right next to Derek. That's yeah, how man, funny you're we right both there. are. Yeah, that's, you are. That's good. He sure. used to be funny in 2021. <laughs> yeah, in 2021, <laughs> he was what you call funny. He took a year off. Yeah, and then it's all been downhill since. Nice. Mm-hmm. I'm glad to just drag his ass down. Yeah, that's what I do. It's, it's done it. I know. Uh, but no, we do have a great episode today. We've got some current events to go over, overrated and underrated as usual. Uh, and we got, uh, yep, I'm that guy and fuck that guy. Uh, questions, preguntas, as always, a fun draft and a shitty situation. But we got Memorial Day weekend to go over what we did over the last week. So happy Memorial Day weekend to all of those out there. And uh, yeah, our week week recap uh, goes start off with a JP smoked weed bowl. What would you do? That's it. Smoked weed, I bowled. I get really Perfect. bad. Uh, I get really bad debilitating headaches, yeah. and I've been getting them the last couple of weeks. So I've spent a lot of time in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think it's the bowling? Cause no, <laughs> hearing those pins I don't rattle think, around. I don't think it's the bowling. No, no. Are you putting your head in the ball return between <laughs> two? <laughs> Not balls? anymore. Because that'll fucking no, do it. Yeah, that'll, that'll fucking do it. Do it. Especially if you headache. if you don't dry your forehead over the dryer well, you have first. To, yeah, yeah, you have to wipe it down and sure. stuff first. Yeah, absolutely. We've okay. all been there. Who hasn't? But yeah, been there? I really. Um, I mean, did you do anything? Really? No. Like this is like, the, dude. Seriously, I if I got out of bed to go get something to eat, it was an accomplishment. No shit, like, dude. They get bad. God damn. And I, and I know we have listeners all over the country and in other parts of the world because we're that cool of a show. We really are. But um, <laughs> around here, it's it's lake. Everybody goes to the fucking lake. Oh yeah. You couldn't catch me dead out of the fucking lake Not, this weekend. No. No fucking way. Why do you want to see that many people? I know. <sighs> And that's it. We yeah. don't have oceans. We don't have mountains. We have muddy pools of water around the uh, metropolis, kind of, yep. sort of. Yep. And 800 families and their fucking kids <laughs> there and their fucking go. dogs and their fucking everything. Yeah, you no. fucking nailed it with no. the kids. Yeah. The no. chickens hard holding pass. knives and chasing kids around hard and all pass. that. Oh, it's hard pass for me, too. Uh, but the chickens are holding knives. Yeah, yeah even the chickens. Yeah, the God chickens. damn, I didn't even know they had hands. Yeah, killer chickens, man. That's what they do. Yeah, <laughs> that's what Memorial Day weekend does for people. I guess <laughs> that's right. Makes chicken grow hands. That's right. Uh, How no. delicious would those be? Oh, chicken, chicken, chicken hands. Chicken hands? They're yeah. really oh, good. They're yeah. They're hard to find, but when you get it, mm, they are good. And then you can mm. cut them off, and you've got chicken, chicken fingers. Ha- chicken fingers. That's right. Sure. So that's sure. what happens. Right. You ever have a chicken give you the middle finger? <laughs> <No>. Twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'll be darn. Yeah. That's talented, a chicken. You, well, you wouldn't go with that red light. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Ah, uh, shit. Um, but uh, so, no, you didn't do much else. I'm sure no, the marijuana. Really I didn't, so man. does the marijuana help with the headaches? It actually, I haven't smoked a whole lot either in the last couple of weeks. I can because smell you from here, dog. I said a lot in the last two oh, weeks. I didn't it. say I didn't fucking get high before I got over here. <laughs> How else am I going to make it through one of these I things, man? I don't know, man. I have no yeah, idea. No, it actually makes it worse. He needs a bracer. Oh, so you need water. Like, like well, shitloads of water as you drink a Dr. Pepper. 
Right. Good, good job. There's Doc. water in that. Well, I, yeah, there's plenty of water. In there. <laughs> there? It's too much water, if <laughs> yeah. you ask me. Yeah, yeah, sugar and caffeine. I was just hoping for straight syrup. Okay. All right. Did you eat anything good? Because that's that's where like like you got to revolve around food. Like munchies come with your weed, I would expect. So normally, yeah. But okay. When I'm yeah, when I'm fucked up with my headaches, I don't eat much because. I, Stomach gets upset. JP, everybody, Jesus Christ, just roll yeah. with the punches. Whoa, today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I know it's okay. Oh, it's right there, but yeah, all right. Uh, oh, it's sorry. like a thinner Derek. Just bring <laughs> yeah, everything just, down, man. Yeah, dude. You know, I think it's the chair. It's I'm used to sitting probably. over there. You're way as more positive I, in that chair, right? As oh. soon as I sat down in this Wait chair, a I was what like, what kind of positive? What I, the fuck? HIV. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay, man. Magic Johnson, he's still alive. So, Thank God so. I'm wearing rubber pants. <laughs> That's Fuck. right. Yeah. Rubber you. pants is the only cure, by the way, for the AIDS. <laughs> yeah, no that's, shit. Uh, that's one of the bands I manage, by the way. Rubber pants. <laughs> rubber pants. Oh, oh, cure for the AIDS. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, well, that's shit. the name of their first album. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so I, I had a great week, obviously Memorial Day weekend. I, I wasn't going anywhere near a lake. So I wanted to involve myself with as much fun stuff as I possibly can. I eat golf. I uh, did a lot of that, as you would expect. Golf course has got to be about as shitty as the fucking lake on yeah, Memorial weekend, doesn't think. it? No. Really? Okay, so here's the, here's the trick. What did you out there, fish? Yeah. Nice. No, absolutely. Perfect. Okay. Caught a grouper, man, in yeah. a lake. <laughs> really? He was yeah. in the sand trap. How about that? It's a lake monster grouper. That's what it was. Oh, be goddamn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, uh, if you go to uh, like the courses around the city or inside of the city, then yes, you're 100% correct. It'll be packed like a motherfucker. But if you go to the outskirts of town where there are really nice golf courses, they're not as bad. Hmm. So didn't have to wait on anybody. Had a great at least quick paced game. I didn't play very well, but the coolest thing that I did related to golf should have slowed it down. I should have. Well, sounds we were, like you had plenty of fucking time. I got, I golfed 18 holes in like two hours and 45 minutes with my buddy. It was a quick round. Um, but I have, I, I gotta say I had more fun golfing at 10 o'clock at night. Can you believe that shit? They have glow in the dark yeah, of balls. Of course they do. You glow didn't balls? know about glow Fuck balls, bro? No. Seriously? I, oh, dude, we we totally trespassed onto a fucking yeah, golf course. Of course, we used to go to Sims all the time and fucking play glow, glow golf. I mean, never mind. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. that. Is that where you went? <laughs> yeah, it's. No, you'll never get busted there, man. <laughs> I fucked somebody there. on the eighth green oh for God. like an hour and a half one time. Wow, that was, that that's was stamina. That yeah, no shit. Man. Or a shitload of strokes. I mean, were you? Keep, what was your scorecard like? I was over par. I would sound like it. I was over par. <laughs> it's awful. Put, put me down for four. <laughs> yeah, uh, but no. The, the, you know they say that some of the guys from Chernobyl had glow balls. I'm sure they did. Mm -hmm. Radioactive that was side effect. Yeah, that's it's, right. That's a side effect. It's actually a it song. Definitely a radioactive. Side yes, I know, Scotty. I'm just making it's, sure you know it's it. a couple of different songs. It actually, is. uh huh. Which were you talking about? Were you talking about the Imagine Dragons? Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is there really? Of course you were. Yeah, of course no you were. Shit. Of course you were. I sure was. Uh, yeah, there's one from the 80s. Mighty a whack down. Okay. Uh, but yeah, they so they have these like LED light up balls uh, that were they're fucking awesome, but they are harder than rocks whenever you hit them. So that has that vibration oh, yeah. that goes up your fucking hands yeah. and it hurts. But it was a lot of fun uh, for what it's worth. But I, I was really shocked. Uh, so I went. Uh, so the Wichita Asian Association. Uh, actually puts on a big collective thing. Uh, normally it's in a park, but it's for all Is this of where we're going? Do yeah, I, I need to be offended here? Just, yeah, well, that's I, why I, I had a question. I would start getting offended if I, had I were a you, man. So they had Wichita. Why does he always got to bring up Asians? Because I just want, show? I got a question. Uh, so they had Wichita. I have an answer. <laughs> they had Wichita Asian Night Market at Riverfront Stadium. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and all of these like awesome vendors and food and shit like that all the way around the concourse. And I was looking for you and your wife, Jeremy, but I was really shocked that you guys didn't show up. Yeah, we knew you were going to be there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know I was going to be there. We were out golfing. <laughs> so yeah, you night that golfing. was the only time we could get on the course when you weren't there. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. No, dude. no, it was. Uh, what was it? Uh, Asian Native and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Uh, I guess. May, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Everybody gets a month. Hey, JP. This is your month. This this month. Yeah. Are you excited? Sure, oh, man, I'm so stoked. Are you really? Anytime I can celebrate my gayness. <laughs> I just, 
oh, tickles that, my fancy. That month, I thought you were you sh- middle-aged white dude month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's every month. <laughs> well, it's all, apparently I also, don't see sexual orientation. Only color. Well, only color. <laughs> yeah, it's that you're sharing that month with apparently Asian Pride Month. Well, that's too. fine. We uh, don't right. mind. Sharing. You guys take the okay. day off for Juneteenth. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Okay. We do. That's great. Well, we don't really take the day off, but we only fuck black people. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow. okay. That is a celebration. Yeah. yeah. It's a celebration. Right. Celebration of life. Or vice versa, whatever you're into. Yeah, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, but no, it was it was a fun time. There's a lot of good food, uh, obviously. But my God, I'd say about maybe thirty percent of the people that were there have never like learned what soap is. So it smelled like oh. curry and dog and shit all over that curry? fucking place. Oh yeah, because you have uh, technically Asia yeah, is also so. India, yeah, which yeah. is a bunch of bullshit. Yes. But that's oh, my they, wife makes curry rice, which uh it, that's that is a spice all over asia yeah. it's just mostly associated with indian food but yeah uh it's uh pungent, <laughs> it's pungent. It's, it's, jeremy really enjoys it i apparently. don't know that i do yeah i think if I she doesn't make it again it, it'd I, be fun i actually don't hate it man, your wife's a hell of a cook it's man not i've never had anything she made that i didn't love yeah, she, she is a good cook my wife yeah uh-huh. When did you eat my wife's cooking? Me or him? Either of you. Uh, you had us over. She brings my- stuff uh, to the loony bin all the time. Yeah. And then you had oh, yeah. you had me and my wife over and my dog shit all over your house. Oh, you no, would think you'd remember oh, that. Oh, puked. Yeah, uh, puked, it puked all, over, all my over my house. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Because it ate the curry Cause, rice. Because cooking- <laughs> <laughs> you were feeding him from the table and apparently yeah. her cooking is so fucking good. <laughs> I wasn't. Yeah. You were. You were feeding him from the table. You were giving him shrimp. Uh, no. Shrimp. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, but no, it was it was a pretty cool experience. They had like dancing and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. But that is did how they have the big dragons. Fuck yeah, they did. Dude, they did that, that, that was cool as that's shit. Dope. It was I've so seen those, awesome. Those before, like a good one. Like you have to go to a good one, but yeah, badass celebrations. Like dude. the like, girls were the head of the dragon yeah, standing yeah. on the shoulders of the yeah, guys to cool. get it to do right that on, thing. Man. Oh, it was so yeah, fucking they're dope. Fun. The main um, dance they do is, of course, the Macalena. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Absolutely, they do. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that was an absolute fun time. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I, I did actually have a conversation that I'm not going to bring up the person's name, but this was actually on social media. I'm, I'm getting involved a lot more with the Twitters and actually having conversations with awesome. people. But I had one who was severely offended by our show. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Apparently, they forget the disclaimer that Woman? comes... Um, <laughs> surprisingly, surprisingly enough, no, no, <laughs> no. middle aged white dude, correct. Uh, yeah. and and younger, I was even oh, shocked. really, yeah, yeah. Oh, that doesn't surprise me at all. I, I would guess by the profile picture, I would say probably what were, they, what were they offended by the most? Um, didn't go really into it as much. Probably the fact that Scotty assumed the, the gender, it's because I'm a homo. Nah, that, no, I don't think it was that. that no, you're you're our, like card that we get to play, <laughs> yeah. in order for it's us like to play card. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It's like, yes, oh, yeah, dude. we got that Trump's one. almost everything. That's right. And uh, we've tried to get black guys a couple of times. They just <laughs> didn't work so, out. Yeah, well. <laughs> they, they know better. They get the address and they pull into the neighborhood. They're like, I don't think well, we belong they, around here. They won't let him in at the gate. <laughs> yeah, and right. So I, yeah. I actually have offered my best friend to come on from time to time. He was just like, y'all, mm. y'all too white for me, man. Yeah. <laughs> See? I'm like, oh, sorry, man. man. Uh, but no, I, I ended up getting to him like, like, I don't know. Whenever I look at somebody and having a pretty decent conversation, it's like, like you're allowed to be offended, but that's on you. Oh, for sure. That's totally on you. You had to seek us out. Correct. Right. And then it comes down to, it's like, well, if you're going to be offended by something, that's on that's on your fault totally because our intention is never to offend anybody. No. I think people come oh, and Oh, yes, it is. It's uh, Jeremy's. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Jeremy tries. I say a lot of shit I don't actually mean for the purpose of offending people. Okay. <laughs> I've heard him use the R word several times. <laughs> Retard? Yep. Okay. That one. That one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm offended by you using the word that I like to use. <laughs> yeah, man. What's now the I hell? can't use that now word anymore. You made it anymore. uncool. Right. Real but cool, but it still shocks me to think that like even after the disclaimer that I give before every single episode, every single show that we do, there's still somebody. Because people want to be offended. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's exactly they, they have nothing right. else to do. Well, it's like, oh, God damn so it. So how long when did you talk to this guy? Huh? How long did you talk to him? I, I gave up after about like 30 minutes. But I have. But why was he offended? In 30 minutes, you can't tell me he didn't tell you why he was offended. Uh, and if he didn't tell you why he was offended in 30 minutes, then you're a fucking waste of space he for did. talking to him for 30 minutes. He did. He did tell me why, uh, but I don't want to go into it. 
I just really don't. Okay, it, I mean, we'll do it, it later. Yeah, I we'll, do, we'll do it so later. So I can offend somebody else. I've but, always said this. The same button you click to subscribe will also <laughs> unsubscribe you. And that's, you can stop listening at <laughs> any, any time. Any point in if time. If you continue to I would listen suggest to something now. that hurts you. <laughs> I would suggest yeah. right now. Uh, but I hope he's still a listener. I hope so, too. Oh, you know he is. I, I, hope I guarantee so. he's a listener right now. And if he you, is, you need suck the my dick. <laughs> he would let you do it. He would freaking hold you down, too. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but no, I mean, obviously, I think that everybody comes to, to listen to this show to talk about, <laughs> to talk or to listen to us talk about shit and just get away from the actual real world from time to time. We have a whole bunch of jokes where we make fun of ourselves. 95% of the jokes on this fucking show are about me. Well, if anybody belong, or needs to be offended and lash out irrationally, it's the you guy. You should be offended. I and should. if I were you, I'd quit the show. Yeah. But I'm not. I, I know that everything here fuck alone is all close, good and man. fun. This close. They don't really mean it we're all really good friends off air right jeremy Uh huh (laughs) (laughs) what i'm kind of living proof by the way that quitting the show doesn't mean you don't come on anymore (laughs) yeah yeah i quit a long time ago and fuck yeah so I, I, as while I, I, I apologize for you not being able to take a joke, uh, I do not apologize for anything that is ever said on the show because that's intended to what they are, is actual jokes. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But uh, anyways, Jeremy, you are the crescendo of the Week Week Recap. What have you been up to over the last week? Because it's only been that long since you were on here last. Well, you guys mentioned uh, Memorial Weekend. Yeah. <laughs> what, oh, what is that? What is that? Yeah. That's when you um, get an extra day off of work. And you barbecue. That's what, right. What are weekends? Uh, I haven't <laughs> had one in a long time, including this one. Worked right through it. Well, oh, that man. just means you don't have to go to work if you don't want to. Plus, think of all that money you're making so Aki can buy more Christmas trees. Yeah. That is exactly why I did it. I worked Memorial <laughs> Day, too. because. Yep, that's, <laughs> that's that's why he works, man. Have right. you seen these fucking things? They're everywhere, <laughs> dude. We are we are two or three trees away from almost guaranteeing a wildfire in the house, which will just take care of most of those problems. So, <laughs> if I got to work a couple of holidays to get that done, I'm willing so to do it. it. Should either that or she's going to buy a memorial tree. <laughs> One of the two. I have a black mate. <laughs> but no, uh, I've worked enough overtime now to where all my overtime is double time now, and then a holiday is triple time. So I worked three days, got paid for seven days, basically. <laughs> right so that on. works out well. So mm-hmm. it was well worth it. They, so they if go. you need a hundred bucks, <laughs> ask Jeremy. Ask Jeremy. Uh huh. Sorry, it's it's all he's already invested in trees. He's it's already rich. Lumber. Tre- oh, he's fucking loaded. Jeremy he's the is, richest out of all of us, and Derek's rich. Derek's rich. I mean, he's got Wheel of Fortune money, right. but Jeremy, Jeremy still has. Yeah, I don't have that Sajak cash. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh shit. He he has vast quantities. He does. Right. He does. <laughs> that was the uh, the final puzzle. That's yeah, right. Good job. Yeah. I, I missed it, but yeah. Mm. Um, uh, so yeah. anyways, I worked all weekend and when I didn't work, I watched shit on television. Yeah. Uh, watched some movies. Okay. Uh, one movie that surprised me is that it was better than I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shazam two, whatever the fuck it's called. You watched it. You watched I, it. Well, it was free on, yeah. well, so not free. Hell, it was huh? HBO max. Yeah. So, okay. Got you. okay. Um, just trying wow. to kill some time till I got to go back to work. There you um, go. <laughs> yeah, true. I also watched, uh, Creed three. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not so great. Aww. Uh, okay. Here's, you can tell exactly it's, what happened. They had an idea of how they, what they wanted to be the main plot of the movie and what they wanted to happen in the end. Okay. And then they put no effort into coming up with a plausible way f- to get there. To get there, yeah. The that's good. That's, that's story really good, and the uh, plot development is horrible. Shit. Oh, it's bad. They take absolutely zero <laughs> yeah. consideration as to how boxing actually works, uh, how that's age bad. works, um, any of that shit. Yeah. And so yeah, it's it's uh, it's starting to become like a Fast and the Furious deal where it, they're just pumping them out uh-huh. to fucking get the it's, money. It's a cash grab. It yeah. really was, it and was. that's offensive to those of us who love the Rocky franchise. Yeah. True. I paid. I rented that this weekend, and so I paid money and put time into it. And Fool. boy, what? that was fun because I had heard good reviews on it. It sucks. It's <laughs> it it's. <laughs> The Creed version of Rocky Five. <laughs> oh fuck! It's bad. It's wow. in fact, I think Rocky Five probably has some better character development. Jesus, in it. that's bad. 
That's bad. Yeah, it, it really is. Most Rocky fans would say if they it would be one of the best like series of movies if they would just take out Rocky Five. Mm-hmm. So if you if you're saying that Rocky Five was better than oh, Creed for sure Three, it was. that's yeah. bad. Creed, the very first Creed. It, this is what sucks about it. The first one it was good. Was almost a flawless movie. It was great, really. Yeah. And it's because they took it, it, it parallels the first Rocky so so closely, yeah. which is kind of a winning formula. And then the second one, they stretched a little. And then on the third one, they just put no effort whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It really pissed me off. And then I watched a documentary series on Netflix about the Yorkshire Ripper. Okay. I've seen that. I've seen seen it too. That dude was kind of fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a little mental. Is he? Yeah. Is he more fucked up than the person that you actually actually forced me to listen to by Dan no, Cummings? No, Albert Fish. Fish, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that dude. Whew. He's that, probably the most depraved human being to ever live. Probably. Um, that dude's fucked up. Yeah. So. But Dan Cummings could tell the story of him <laughs> really <laughs> fucking really funny. Well. Really well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shit. Did you, so, did you watch anything else at all? Uh, not. We caught up on some of our shows on DVR. Okay. Um, let's see if there was anything else. Uh, no, not really. Deadliest Catch is back on right now, so I was able to well, binge six episodes of that. There's one channel that I won't have to watch. Discovery? Deadliest yeah, Catch. Yeah, Deadliest Catch. If it's on, I'm not watching. Okay, fine. You would like Deadliest Catch. I do love Deadliest You're Catch, so dude. stupid. I'm anything so invested. Like uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, speaking of fish, uh, Wicked Tuna, back into that too. Yeah, see, I like fishing. Fishing. Uh, I think all like tuna shows. is wicked. And yet you're scared <laughs> of the ocean. You do. Huh? Yeah. You are scared shitless of the ocean. Incorrect. I am terrified of being in the ocean, not on a boat. I am totally fine with being on a boat. You see that fucking like cruise liner? What if it was the Titanic? How would you like that? Um, that would suck. That would suck. But so. none of them got eaten by sharks, so I'd just freeze to death. Rather freeze oh, to I death. Oh, I bet you some of them did. I bet did. some of them did. Oh, you think so? Eventually, yeah. Uh, oh, eventually, maybe, but you know, you know, not, not right. <laughs> they had, <laughs> I think they died first. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so that's just that's just my, it's like, like shark sickles. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. It was a shark sickle. Uh, but no, I, I guess uh, I, I'm going to say this on on uh, on the show, Jeremy. I you you've done fantasy football drafts before, right? Never, never. I've okay. never even heard of them. I'm sure you haven't. Um, what is football? <laughs> right. You're talking soccer. <laughs> that, <laughs> No, the rigged, uh, the rigged thing that Derek is not going to be a part uh, sure, of anymore. Sure. Anyways, I was hoping I'd get invited to do it in this place. But I, I've talked about cool. this very briefly in previous episodes, but I am also in a fantasy football league with nothing but a bunch of Aussies over in Australia. No, you'll get the kick out of this. So uh, we have a franchise league that you have to draft rookies. I swear to God, JP, I will fucking punch you. Eight picks, and it has taken us. Like four weeks to do this draft. Yes, Aussies are stupid. God damn it! It's ridiculous. They're not a smart people. <laughs> They're cool as fuck, but they eight, get their schooling weeks. from fucking Aborigines. <laughs> eight weeks, kids. They throw they sticks and they come yeah. back to them. Yeah, That's all they surf. do down there. We're drafting rookies, dog. We're drafting people that aren't going to be even valid for another three or four years. Why does this take eight weeks or four weeks or whatever? Why are you doing it? Yeah. Stupid as fuck in the first place. Because I think the guys are nice and cool and shit like that. I mean, I'm of sure they, they are. are. They're Australian. Play fair see football together man oh, sounds man. cool they're just dumb like that's, that's all i'm gay. saying just i'm gay yeah <laughs> and you're playing fantasy football that's yeah. gayer than i am i i feel like i, I just Austra- don't get it australia is a place where you fly to and and all of them are going to be in like one consolidated because you area. know why they're actually playing football <laughs> they probably are and rugby and all, surfing all, and all that shit Oh man, Australians are hot. I'm sure they they're just are. Walking Jeremy. around being not smart. Yeah. The closest. No, on, and they're the, dumb too. The friend, Perfect. Friend yeah, of the they, show, yeah. D- Daniel. He yeah. actually is an epitome. That's an Australian that's Derek, Derek too. <laughs> yeah. That's an Australian, that's an Australian Derek. Derek. Yes. Dude looks just <laughs> like Derek. Oh, <laughs> it's well, that's disappointing. Facial hair and everything. Man, dogs. poor guy. <laughs> Wow. He's we great. need to send him a care package or something. <laughs> Sorry for your luck. Great guy, though. Love that, dude. Miss you, buddy. Uh, but no, that's uh, is that everybody's week? Is that all we got? Yeah, man. Let's move what on. What a Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day weekend to all of you guys out there. Jesus Christ. Thank God I didn't do anything. Jesus Christ. It's already fucking been 30 minutes. Yes. All right. Think, but think if I had no done comment. anything. <laughs> yeah, no, no comment. kidding. Oh, Jesus. How long was our show last week? 
Two hours? That's way too long. That's Ooh. at least an hour and 45 minutes too fucking long. I'm oh, sure great. it is. Uh, but we do have an excellent show for you and guys. we have 30 minutes to get it done. Let's do this. Not quite. Um, but if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, I'm doing it as fucking claimer right oh, now. Oh, they've already turned it off. I'm sure they have, but I'm going to do it again. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and, cur- and current events that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. They're all targeted towards me, and I'm not offended. Don't be a bitch. This is also an adult podcast. Oh, we where found we- a new target for this week. <laughs> that guy. That fucking guy. That That's fucking right. guy. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language, obviously, and offend a lot of people and make them uncomfortable. So, Was well, that the problem, the language? Yeah, probably. Our fucking language? Probably. So if wow, you're one of those people there. that are easily offended, turn us the fuck off. Why are Can't, they offended by English? I don't know. We could start speaking in old English. Because that's what Australians speak. Okay, that, that's where Fuckers. a lot of people speak, but that's beside the point. Anyways, thank you very much for tuning in. We appreciate it. And uh, before we get on to the fun stuff of the episode, we want to have uh, at least let uh, Curtis from BattlecornCarePackages.com let you know who he is and what he is all about. So here is BattlecornCarePackages.com. Hi, everybody. My name is Curtis, and my family and I run Battlecorn Care Packages, a nonprofit organization that sends care packages to children battling cancer. In 2021, we began this organization when our daughter, JC, was diagnosed with a rare form of brain cancer. Today, we run it in her honor. In addition to that, we also host events throughout the year to raise money and awareness for pediatric cancer research. On August 26th in Appleton, Wisconsin, we will be hosting our second annual Gold Time Masquerade, where we will be donating 100% of the proceeds to the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation with a goal of $25,000. All of the information, including donor, sponsorship, and ticket sales, can be found on our website at battlecorncarepackages.com. Thank you, and we hope to see you there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to Curtis uh, from battlecorncarepackages.com. Go and help them out. Help them get to their goal at $25,000 uh, to donate to a good cause. Uh, we appreciate everything that he does, and uh, yeah, good friend of the show. So appreciate that. Now we get to move on to the current events. Uh, we obviously have some sports that are going on. We've got two very popular postseasons right now. The first one is the least popular postseason, which is the NBA. You guys watching that? Not only is Not LeBron really. out, oh, but... Oh, yeah, they got swept. Oh, yeah, they got swept. Uh, they got swept, but then also the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat... Uh, went to Game 7. I know. I can't My- believe it did. Miami Heat uh, started off strong, won three games in a row, and then lost three, three games, games in a row. row. So it was going to be the very first time in NBA history where somebody had come back from an 0-3 deficit. But they just couldn't do but it. But they, so couldn't, they fucking couldn't fucking do it. finish. Portnoy is really pissed off. Celtics did not pull it out. In fact, they looked like shit in the yeah, fourth they quarter didn't play the other very night. Good last, yeah. So I even said that I will boycott the NBA and I will say that it is rigged if, if the, the Los Lake, Angeles Lakers and the Boston Celtics yeah, made it to so the NBA Finals. Now you're a fan. So guess what? I may actually watch this NBA Finals and uh, yeah. Go. Uh, Denver's going to fucking go destroy Nuggets, baby. Him, baby. I hope so. And I'm actually happy with either team. Uh, Miami wins it without LeBron. That's that's a good story. And uh, One of the guys players. on the Bob and Tom show put a $40 bet on the Heat. Before it starts, yeah. Before it started, and uh, if if they wind up winning it, he gets like nine thousand. <laughs> That's a good deal. Yeah, solid deal. Um, so yeah, I, I'm actually pro- I'm probably going to watch the the finals this this time. Um, awesome. I've got a I've got a somewhat of a dog in the hunt, which is the team that beat LeBron. So go Denver. You know, gotta right. love it. Um, but I did also hear about this while we're on the NBA. Did you hear that they are coming out with the LeBron rule? Did you hear about this? Well, yeah. Nope. Yeah, so they are or actually any team that has LeBron James is not winning by the end of the game. They, <laughs> they automatically, just automatically get to win. Get to that's win. All, that's exactly right. He's such a piece of shit that they automatically no. Uh, actually, the NBA <laughs> the NBA is actually considering an in game penalty for flops that would result in a technical foul free throw. So I'm assuming that's a technical foul, meaning a foul towards the player. Right. Right. And it'll and probably it'll get, they'll get the free throw and the ball. Probably. That, probably. Yeah. So uh, they just sure. kind of touched on this. And I think obviously they'll go. Don't to the they do that point. in most other sports? Like I know soccer, they do that. Do they if really? If you flop, you can actually get like a red card or something. But they never if, do. If, yeah. I mean, they, they probably don't. All call, yeah. The fucking time. They, there's a rule. Where, that's why I hate soccer. That's legitimately well, why I hate soccer. And this is and, not and you don't like shit. anything foreign. That too. Yeah. You only like white people. Huh? 
there's not a whole lot of white guys. No, on. you only like white people. Oh no, that's no, not I know true. that. Oh, that's, oh, that's true. true. Oh, come on, now, come man. on, Scott. I'm offended, guys. I'm sure you. I don't are. want Scotty to like me. <laughs> I don't want Scotty to like me. Uh, but that no. offend anybody, right? Uh, but no, I actually really want this to happen. Uh, watching the NBA finals or the games that I have been watching uh, as of late. Um, I obviously hear a big, huge comparison between Michael Jordan and, and LeBron over and over Which again. Which is every, ridiculous. Every fucking day. Here, hold on. Hear me out. Um, it's such a different game. It is such a different game. I even believe that Charles Barkley in, in the, uh, what was it, Monday night's game even had the, this is like they're going back and forth throwing up threes, which is the strategy that's going on now, which back in the 90s and 80s. Analytics, baby. Yeah, yeah exactly. But. Back in the 90s and 80s, it was just get an easy bucket. You know, like two points is worth just as many as three, whatever. Well, no, it's not. In I mean, fact, it's, uh, it's not. I have an Asian at home who would tell you differently. <laughs> uh, but no, she it's, can put it on her abacus. It's an easier shot. But anymore, it's not. Any more of these players are just throwing up threes. Well, yeah. And so you live or die by the three, and it's just not a fun game to watch. It's just not. Um, but I heard an actual valid argument the other day about not comparing Jordan to LeBron, but actually comparing LeBron to Larry Bird. Who would you rather have? My uncle looks like Larry Bird. Dude, Larry Bird was a bad mother like fucker. My uncle might be Larry Bird. Oh, you should I'm give him a sure. call. Have him come on the show. Yeah. yeah. Come can on. he host? For sure. <laughs> I'm sure For sure he can. He can do both. I know he can post. Yeah, can he, he can host? host. Can he host? He can do everything. He can shoot and all kinds of stuff. He can shoot stuff. threes. Yeah, he can fucking, dude. yeah, well, yeah. Uh, but no, who would you rather have? Would you rather have Larry Bird or LeBron James? Because that's equal. In which era uh, are we playing? I, that was actually the right, question I was yeah. going to ask next. Is the the whole thing came up whenever it was like, okay, could you take LeBron and have him be just as successful as he is now and put him back in the seventies and eighties, as opposed to yes. could you take Larry Bird and take him out of the seventies and eighties and put him no. into today's game? No. Larry Bird would get kicked out of every fucking game. Every game. <laughs> he was a mean, dude, he tough was mean son of a fuck, bitch. Dude. He was talking shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, he, yeah. he was more <laughs> he, than talking shit. He was shit. shoving. I mean, he was fucking elbowing. He yeah, was that dude was mean. Mean. Uh -huh. um, he would never make it today. If if LeBron were raised and came up in that era, mm -hmm. I have no doubt that he could have learned and adapted to... I mean, he obviously has... Tremendous athletic talent. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think that's one hundred percent true. But he came that's up in an era where game. he was mm -hmm. Nike paid him eighty million dollars before he ever stepped foot on an NBA court. Mm -hmm. The guy has been pampered to that's his impressive. entire <laughs> life. Mm -hmm. he, I'd suck his dick. I mean, <laughs> that saying he, they they needed a Michael Jordan replacement yes. so badly yeah. that they were willing to change the game to adapt to him cater to make be, sure he stays on the news yes see i actually disagree with both of you and i'm glad we have a different opinion on this i think that if you took larry bird and put him in today's game even though if you just kind of foul out every time you no know, if you just told him to calm down eventually you're gonna you're gonna learn how well, to play in today's just calm here's, down larry here's, here's, <laughs> here's <laughs> now I, I didn't i didn't oh, get to finish mine. tell him to oh, calm okay down. sorry i'll let you finish okay now larry bird if he could figure out how to not get thrown out, uh, would do very, very well because Larry Bird was a fucking killer from the three point line. Yep. At six nine, six ten. I mean he, he was that's why the comparison is made is because Larry Bird is six foot nine, Magic Johnson is six foot nine, LeBron James is six foot nine. Larry Bird, okay, it, it's weird because he's white and he had that porn stash. People think that he was slow and unathletic. Oh, no. He's, Larry Bird was a bad athletic, motherfucker. Yeah, he was. He really there, was. There's a reason that he drug a Missouri Valley team to the NCAA finals. Yeah. And then was, I believe, the number one overall pick. That, or no, second. Second, second pick. pick. Mm -hmm. I, I don't actually think he was drafted. I think he was signed without... Like as a free agent before all that shit came out, and then I don't know magic. But what I can say is, is I mean, if you do a deep dive from the seventies and eighties and just go back and look, especially at Magic and Larry, and sit there and tell me that you don't think that they could be successful in today's game, I think Magic could. Magic could definitely, but I think Bird could too. It's it's just that you gotta you can't foul. You can't play, but dude, there go look at entirely the games. different types of players. I agree, hundred percent. I agree, but I also disagree with you whenever you say. LeBron James back then, if you're saying that you can't learn how to play their different games and all that stuff, well, then, okay, put LeBron back and then be 
consistent with your argument because I think that LeBron would probably get his ass beat so badly, and I mean physically, he would probably be putting on his warm-ups with two minutes left in the game, like he does right now, after he's pouting and crying, and then he would cry on the way home after getting smoked by Larry Bird or Magic Johnson. And Larry, and Mike, Magic Johnson would smoke him on his own team, Laker to Laker. And I just, I just don't have – I still it, think LeBron is in the top ten best players of all time. I'm not stupid, but – I think that Larry Bird and Magic Johnson are better basketball players than he is. I they, feel like you were. are stupid. <laughs> I feel like that's a lie. I'm just saying. It, it, it's, it's LeBron's mental toughness that has always hampered him and kept him from being as great as he could be. Six foot eight, 240 pounds out of high school, and for like the first four years, was also the fastest player in the league, baseline to baseline. Okay. He had the fastest time in all of the NBA at that size. Okay. He was a freak of a fucking athlete. I don't think, I, I think if he would have been brought up in a time that didn't cater to him from high school on and he developed mental toughness, no, he could have hung with those guys. Okay, that's fair. That's, that's, he has that's a totally set of, of athletic skills that is yes, maybe beyond compare. He's six foot nine. He's got handles, man. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah he's good. I'm not saying he's not, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, but, uh, oh yeah. Uh, so we have that playoffs that's going on. Who do you think is going to win the NBA finals? Do you got, uh, the Denver. nuggets or you got the heat, Jeremy Denver. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a clean sweep. All of us have the uh, Denver nuggets winning. So good luck uh, to both teams. I just like saying nuggets. I'm sure you mm -hmm. do. It's a weed state, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Nuggets are not gold by the way. No. Uh huh. Uh, but we also have, green. this is actually voted the most exciting playoffs in all of sports. And that is the NHL. Stanley Cup, baby. Of course it is. It's fucking great. Of course I'm, it I'm, is. Did they only survey hockey fans? Because <laughs> no. that's the only way that that Dude, happens. Hockey fucking rocks. You don't have I don't to, know what's your problem. You don't I just, have I don't, to have I don't, I don't understand dog. the game. I wasn't raised around it. I don't yeah. get it. Now now there's not even a, a like there, there's not even a rule against two line passes, so you can pass You can pass two you can, lines. You can pass yep. two lines, so yeah. it's even a little bit easier to understand. Dude, I, I can Everybody pass, else I is trying to lines, make the I'm game sure. safer. Hockey is just trying to make the game better. That's right. And dude, that's the difference between NBA, mm -hmm. NHL, uh fucking baseball and fucking all that shit. Yeah. They're all trying to make the game safer. And the NHL is like, you know what? Let's fucking make it faster. Let's make it more exciting. Yeah. Let's, I love it. I love hockey, man. I, it's I the have, only sport worth watching. I have got to say. So I watched the the game with Golden Knights uh, <laughs> and the Dallas Stars, and I was like, shit, dude, I'm on my edge of my seat the whole dude, time, and you, it was a blast. We have to go to a fucking real like Let's an abs dog. game, Let's dude. Go to an abs you game. will be hooked. I'm sure. I'm sure I dude, will. That's all it will take. I can't root for a Colorado team. It's just not. Well, it's then, just me. I mean, then you can fucking buy your own ticket and sit on the other side of the fucking stadium. That, we'll meet up afterwards, and I might give you a ride home. Avalanche and Blues. Okay. Oh, 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 oh you're a Blues fan. Yeah. I, well, St. Louis. That's Saint, kind of my just because it's St. Louis. Yeah. That's, I gotta I, have my time. When I was growing up, I was a Blues fan. See. Okay. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it really is. I'm so, I'm shocked, but everybody kind of agrees. That is the oh, most dude, fun. Amazing. You don't have to have a dog in the hunt. You yeah. don't. It's just entertaining. It's excellent. So I'm I'm kind of pumped. I don't know who to root for. I have absolutely no fucking clue who to root for. Vegas, who's the new expansion team. Well, yeah, but Vegas, they've already got. They, they, they've, they've had success from day one. They really have. And the, but they the haven't won the Stanley the, Cup. They got beat out by the Lightning. They're gonna win this year. You think so? Over the over the Panthers? I Panthers so. are hot, dude, dude. They're so sick. They're so good. But they're they're they they're just good. They're one shock away from fucking falling apart. Well, right. Mark my words. Yeah. It will go five games. Yeah. And the Knights will win. But definitely, I we got to give a shout out to all the teams that are playing hockey in the fucking South, like Florida and Las Vegas, Nevada. And fuck you, all you Northern teams and Canada Canadians, because no, no, I said it right the first time. Uh, Canadians, mm -hmm. or, no, no, what did I, what I, did I call? You them? don't even have to go further than that. Fuck Canadians. <laughs> fuck, fuck I, I don't need a reason. Hockey doesn't hey. play into it. <laughs> fuck those people. You what? What do want I want to be French? I can't motherfuckers? call them what I always call them. Not Canadians. What do I normally call them? Canucks. No, I can't think of it now. Well, I think you refer to the country as no, Canada. Oh no, you did, <laughs> you did call it Canada once. I call I like can I call Canada Canada is what yeah. I call that. But you've I been can't. hanging out with the Australians too much. You're not smart. I know. <laughs> is that what it is? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. But I'm really excited. I'm actually going to concentrate on watching hockey for the first time in a long time. So hope it's a very entertaining uh, Stanley Cup final. Be a great and it's like final. the most cherished like oh, dude, trophy out yeah, of all man. of them. 
Out of all of them, it's the one that has Lord like the Stanley's most. Lord Stanley's cup. Yeah. Is he actually a lord? Yeah, man. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, that's um, that's all the civilized main... game hockey. <laughs> yeah. Very civilized. There was a really cool thing. All jokes aside, Liam Hendricks uh, for the Chicago White Sox. Speaking of Australians, is he? Yep. I did not know that. Yeah, he used to pitch for the Royals. Oh, okay, cool. Um, he threw his very first strike of the 2023 season. First pitch, strike, 2023 season. He what, is, is actually, he fucking trying to rub it in? Yeah. He's been battling non-Hodgkin's lymphoma Ooh. and going through. That's uh, the bad one. It's yeah, not a fun one, I can tell you that. No cancer is, but my hat's it's, off to the it's guy. It's far worse than Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, it, it really it is. It is, yes. Hodgkin's lymphoma is like the most curable form of cancer there is. That's what Eric Berry, everybody felt sorry for, for him. Chiefs, for, yeah. For basically, you know, having a sore heel because mm-hmm. he had cancer, but a very curable kind. Mm-hmm. Non-Hodgkin's is a bitch. It is, and it, he has basically been fighting it for over six months, but he came back through his first pitch and my caps off to uh south chicago um first of all your uh city uniforms are fucking dope it just says south side or south chicago i don't know but they're awesome you know, that's the baddest part of town uh, you know what it's right uh yeah, yeah. bad bad leroy brown hangs uh-huh. out there so um but it big, was big bad leroy yeah brown. Bad, bad no that was big bad, bad john big no yeah jim George. <laughs> no, he's a pool shooting son of a gun, Jim. Oh, you're right. Jim is a pool shooting Leroy, son of a gun. Me and Leroy, we were out there. We were just shooting dice. And, okay. Um, <laughs> just, just, just shooting some dice. I heard he well, like this, we do. this guy can't keep from fucking other guys' wives. <laughs> yeah. I think he's they got to fighting, yeah. and uh, the only way I can describe it, it looked like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, wow. <laughs> With a couple of pieces gone, guys. Wow. Yeah. wow. I heard he's about six that's, foot uh, four. By the, by the way, that's, uh, that's Jimmy Pardo. <laughs> okay. He, he, one of the dumber things that he does in his act. <laughs> I can't even take credit for that. And nor can he, because that's part of a song. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, but anyways, Liam Hendricks, congratulations to you, buddy. Hope you have a good rest of your season. Congratulations. Uh, but now we get to fun sports. Uh, this has actually really happened. This is interesting. In the, the United Kingdom, in the UK, uh, a woman wins the annual cheese rolling race while unconscious. Did you hear about this shit? <laughs> You've seen this sport, and they call it a sport. That's crazy. It's a hill where people. She woke <laughs> up in a medical tent with a fucking ribbon around her. <laughs> Congratulations, Susie. Oh yeah. What you was your strategy? You <laughs> well, well, I had to get fucking out. ripped, <laughs> and then uh, just uh, couldn't couldn't stay awake anymore. This is such a fucking boring sport. Yeah, she's actually also from Canada as well. Uh, Ooh, so she she flew over to the UK where they do this uh, cheese race, which I believe is actually in Gloucester on a hill on a hill, and they take a circular piece of cheese and just roll it down they have the stick right you gotta walk with it oh no you run with it you just run dog it's whoever gets to the bottom of the hill and that's what happened is she you gotta beat the cheese i don't even think you have to beat it's just the first one now that'd be a fucking game show beat the (laughs) cheese cheese. cheese. oh fuck yeah (laughs) no i've done beat the meat i was gonna say that that sounds dirty is that what women do sound dirty sound go in the back bedroom beat the cheese beat Beat it like a speed bag i think it's still beat the beef i think is actually what it's called but like roast beef Sandwich. Eat the beef. That's right. Mm. Hey, by the way, speaking of, have you seen now it's four for $10? Yeah, they used keep to be going five up. For five? Yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> fuck I those agree. Arby's cocksuckers. Yeah, Arby's. <laughs> That's great. Uh, but no, yeah, she ended up apparently tumbling and, uh, and apparently hitting her head. And uh, she wakes up uh, in the medical tent and finds out that she wow. won. You know what? Love I don't it. wish badly on anybody, but in this case, good. <laughs> I'm glad she fucking hit her head. That ought to teach you to do such a stupid fucking sport. <laughs> I'm hoping she's not the only one that ate shit. Quit wasting your life. <laughs> uh, we could get back to hobby yeah, horse. She's rolling twat. <laughs> uh, no, we're just spending way too much time on this. Is it? That's is. fine. All right, that's fine. Uh, but uh, last but not least, uh, I thought this was pretty funny. Uh, the Georgia, the Georgia Department of Transportation of Driver Services issued an unusual reminder for residents taking advantage of the state's new digital driver's license and IDs. Please take pictures with your clothes on, so that they have the ability to take a selfie for their driver's license and not have to go to the DMV. Which, by the way. Hats off wow. to you, by the way. That's mine would definitely be a dick pic, <laughs> no doubt about it, for just, sure. Just with just, googly eyes. Oh fuck yeah! Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. You put some Groucho Marx glasses <laughs> yeah, on. That yeah. Mustache. Fuck yeah! Why don't you sit down and stay a while? 
<laughs> I got a question. Oh, you want Mae West? Okay. What did you think was gonna happen when you allowed people yeah, to do duh. this? What did you think was gonna happen? Of course, there's gonna be dick pits, twat, twat pits. Too. They said, "Please take pictures with your clothes on." They didn't say you had to. They're <laughs> yeah. just encouraging you to. Pretty please, please, pretty please. For the love of God, Mildred can't see another cock. <laughs> <laughs> this is in Georgia, right? This is in, uh, yeah, Georgia. in Georgia, yeah. yeah. You know who actually got his driver's license just the other day down there? Who? Devil. Oh, yeah, did he? Well, uh -huh. he went down there. Yeah, he was in a bind. Yeah, yeah 30. Way behind. He was Way all, behind. He was looking to make a deal, wasn't he? That's what I hear. He was looking for a soul to steal. Oh. Um, uh, he was willing to make a deal. I got you. I might are there not souls in other states? <laughs> not like there are in Georgia. <laughs> I no. guess your odds of running into a fiddle player in any other state. <laughs> that's true, too. And that turns out that's all that the devil is good at. He's <laughs> playing, playing the fiddle. The fiddle. Playing the fiddle. And he's really not that great at that. No, he's not even as good as Johnny. Not as good yet. as Johnny, and Johnny's not that good. I mean, he's <laughs> no. I mean, you've heard it before, right? It's not great. Mm. But the devil sucks. Yeah. So I've heard what? Uh, the, the oh, are you going to tell me this is a fucking song, too? No, no, Johnny Johnny playing the fiddle. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that good. No. He sucks. So anyways, I just thought that was pretty funny because everybody knows that JP, myself, and Jeremy Joseph, we would have some very, very creative pictures for mm. our driver's mm. license. So uh, we need Kansas to go ahead and come through and make that a thing. That'd be awesome. Uh, but that is the current events for this week. We are moving right along, boys. Yeah. Keep going. Okay, we're going to keep stop now. We're going to keep on going. Uh, we're going to move on to overrated or underrated. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions for any of these upcoming segments, you can send them to us at Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines, or on our Instagram account, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines. Send them to us. If we like one of the ones that you have sent, uh, we'll give you a shout out and uh, appreciate it. If you have already sent one and I haven't responded, it's because we've already done that one before, and I've got so many of those. And I just got tired of responding. So uh, keep on trying. Keep on coming up with stuff. Chances are we've done a lot of them. But anyways, first one for overrated or underrated is overrated or underrated bug assault shotguns. These are those assault guns that you shoot and kill flies with. Yeah. Yeah. You can kill a lot of things with those. Um, <laughs> can you? Yeah. Oh. Including someone's eyesight. <laughs> okay, um, really? I would say underrated, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> About three weeks ago, we were at a buddy's playing cards, and he already had one. Nice. And he bought a truck a couple months back, and there was one in the truck. Oh, perfect. Is he going to get a rack so, for the back window? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes. we, uh, we were having bug assault shotgun fights. And like you do. Then Russ got shot in the eye and ended up in the emergency room. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Can you see? And, oh, he can now, but it was like two or three days. Oh, shit. Like, it, it fucked him up. They It tore part of his cornea. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, not good. No. So if you're going to do that, goggles. Yeah. <laughs> goggles are good. Yeah. Glasses, goggles, hearing so, protection. Why not? Yeah. I, absolutely. Uh, my dad has those guns because um, you want to take them like, for camping and shit like that. That's when it gets really fun. Yeah, Light, yeah. Lightning bugs are fucking awesome. Or <laughs> fire. They just, yeah, they just look like fireworks. They do. Fourth of July without the noise. That's yeah. the cheapest Fourth of July you'll ever have, by the way. Oh, have you seen the price of salt lately? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going up. It sure is. Like everything else, Jeremy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to say underrated as hell. I think it's great. How about you, Jeremy? Oh, I think they're great. Yeah. I really do. Uh, listen, I have no problem killing flies uh, just for sport. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple mounted just on my wall. Just for sport. <laughs> you do you. Uh-huh. Got their antlers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I fucking despise flies, and I will. Uh, my dad has one. I have do not uh, have one yet. Uh, can't pass background check. Uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for the fully automatic version. Fuck yes! But, oh yeah, <laughs> CO2 powered one. Dude, yeah. Oh fuck no. yeah! Oh Jesus! Uh, but no, we will one. just hang out by his garbage can outside. Yeah, and just blast flies all day long, and they never learn. And what's really disheartening, they never run out. <laughs> There's always more fucking yeah, flies. Oh, no no shit. Kidding. God damn it. And I know, at least in the Midwest, uh, we're experiencing finally the end of this, but God damn those Miller moths. Oh, those, they're everywhere. They were fucking well, they're, everywhere. They're migrating to Florida. I heard they were going the other direction towards Colorado. I heard Florida. I believe you. But, I mean, I could be wrong. They're uh, migrating somewhere, okay. and we're the uh, fucking middleman. They're going to Florida <laughs> for the uh, the NHL playoffs. That's what they're doing? Uh huh. Perfect. Perfect. 
perfect. There you Moths go. love hockey. Moths love. Hockey. <laughs> that's a that's a fact. That's obvious trivia right there. They're so excited for it to be in some warmer climates right yeah. now for Stanley Cup. Congratulations. Okay, uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Mickey Mouse making a snuff film. My microphone smells like someone's butthole. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's why I don't like sitting here. Fuck Derek. <laughs> just are, are you sure that, that smell there. is not just in your nostrils? <laughs> I'm sure it's just his breath. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag. I was munching on some hole before I came over. <laughs> Happy Pride Month, everybody. <laughs> not yet. It's still May. It's coming. Oh, it's June. All over the place. June. Oh, it's June. I, everybody has a month. Well, is this not June? Uh, no. Oh, it's the 30th. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, What a fucking waste of a day. I know, right? The 30th. Just yeah. move on. Just move on. Move on. Do we get? Can we get a month? I, I want a month. I, I believe there's 31 in May. I no. think you have a month. What's my month? Every fucking month of the year. No. Middle-aged white guy. Month. No, that's not the month I'm talking about. I'm March sure is month, dickhead month. month. Yeah. Leprechaun day. Le- well, you have a yeah, day. March. You have that, that is March. March. Yeah. March. So, you can have March. It's already over. It's gone. I'm sorry about that. You that have to wait till next year. Sucks. I don't want it. Thank much you for like, derailing this with that <laughs> stupid <laughs> fucking Much like a Scotty. Cardinals fan, you'll just have to wait till next year. That ain't no shit. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, uh, overrated or underrated, Mickey Mouse making a snuff film. Poor, poor Pluto. Why does it got to be Pluto? Yeah, why does it got to be Pluto? Yeah. Why wouldn't he do many? He is not a furry. Uh, you never know. Oh, maybe he is. <laughs> you never know. That's he's a, a real, mouse. He looks like a mouse, but it's a dude that looks like Derek. He's a gigantic of. mouse with a regular sized dog. Yeah. Like the mouse is giant compared to the regular no, size. Or right. he's a regular sized mouse with a really small, small dog. Or that. Yeah, exactly. So, I but mean. Pluto's a Great Dane, right? I don't. Yeah. I don't think so. Like that. I no, don't that's know. Marmaduke. Uh, or yeah. or Scooby Doo is a wrong is cartoon a dog. Yeah, what wrong one dog. dog. Um, well, what kind of dog is it then? I don't know. A retarded one because he's the only one that can't talk. A all Norwegian the- ass sound. <laughs> Dogs don't talk, Scotty. <laughs> but all of- Goofy, Goofy fucking talks. Goofy's not a dog. Yes, he is. He's not. He I've, claims to. He identifies as one. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. That's true. And I guess that's good yes. enough for me. They're going to exactly right. <laughs> put him on a Bud Light bar. They're going to put him on a Bud Light can. <laughs> right next to Bill and Mulaney. Yeah, no shit. Uh, but no, I think uh, I, I think this would be underrated. I can imagine, like, Goofy just, oh, gosh, you know. <laughs> Yuck. I'm going to kill you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I yeah, can just hear. Right. I'll Mickey. go fucking underrated. Oh, many. Take your pants off. <laughs> you know, just like I don't that. think you know what a snuff film is. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know either. You Whatever. can kill somebody pants on. Okay, I guess you can. Uh, what about you, Flies. JP? I guess underrated. Underrated? You think I mean, that'd be fun? I think if I'm going to watch a snuff film, I'd prefer it to be a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I mean. Sure. Of course you would. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Eh, it's overrated. Snuff okay. films are overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Great, they great. don't do it for me like they used to. They're okay. just all over. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Shitting in a cup for a colon cancer screening. Oh, I've done it for way worse <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Shitting in a cup? Yeah. How did... Uh, in, a, in a bag or a cup? Somebody ordered cup. a peanut buster parfait. Cup. Oh, God. Yikes. Um, no. Uh, way overrated. Okay. Why would you ever underrate shitting in a cup <laughs> i don't know yeah no but they have that thing that they send out the the colon screening thing and and you do cola guard uh, well i want to get in my plug but might as well there go ahead go. and get yourself tested I, I believe you can actually just shit and then just pick it up wrap and wrap it in a paper it. towel yeah, you, don't, and <laughs> you don't have to have <laughs> you can shit precision. your hand and then put it in the cup <laughs> i think Oh my god, that's oh. so disgusting! Can you just not go get a blood test? Like, what would you rather do? Shit in the cup? I don't, apparently, no, you can't. Otherwise, <laughs> they'd ask for your blood. I don't okay. know about colon cancer. Okay, I just I don't know, but I I think I'd rather die of colon cancer in my. Oh, opinion. I don't think you'd rather die. I of would colon rather cancer. you would too. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Uh, no, I, I think it's it's definitely underrated. It saves a lot of lives, apparently. So, but uh, but yeah, shitting in a cup just sounds like a practical joke that I would do to somebody asking me for a urine sample. There you so go. That's what I would do. How about you, Jeremy? M- me? Yeah. 
You're yeah, I'd shit in a cup if it meant that I could prevent cancer. Okay. Dying of cancer, I'll, I'll shit in anything. You'll shit in anything? A, a cup, a bag, your mouth, whatever. <laughs> Slacks. Whatever. Slacks. Whatever answer gets this over faster. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. My pleasure. I love you, too. Okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Hookers who don't speak English. Underrated. They don't talk to cops. <laughs> I'm going to go with his answer. (laughs) Wow, really? Yeah, I like that answer. Well, I think any more, I think uh, speaking Spanish in the United States is getting a little bit more popular. I think all of us do. Boo! (laughs) Build that fucking wall! (laughs) Pretty pretty soon we're all going to have to know Chinese. (laughs) If they keep showing up at ball games, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) God damn it. I think you killed Scotty. (laughs) Almost. Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, so. Why does my microphone smell like a butthole? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Check for cancer. Uh, normally I'm good, yeah. Maybe I really. That's, that's what Derek does. That's, he just tries to wipe. Every week. It's, uh, it's, my, it's my weekly cancer check. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. No, I think it's underrated. I think especially if they're just silent, it's totally fine. Make a little bit of noise, obviously, but. Um, if somebody says, uh, Adios mio, Poppy, I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. So, yeah, this is way underrated. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to speak the language to know if they're having a good time or not. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you'll know. Because yeah. I don't care yeah. if they are or not. I paid for that. What's even <laughs> What's even well, give a fuck time. if you're having a yeah. good time or not. What's really weird is if it's a completely, totally, like, uh, Caucasian lady who speaks english and then she says i the osmio poppy that's that's a little weird for me so you anyway. know spanish people are white scotty uh, some of them spaniards mm-hmm. yes spanish yeah, yeah right <laughs> the the only spanish people out there the ones from spain <laughs> right you know yeah uh all right last one overrated or underrated Keystring objects to get them. Into <laughs> I place. think somebody keystered this fucking microphone. No if shit. you want to know the god's honest truth, let me finish it. Damn it! Overrated or underrated? Keystring objects to get them into places overrated. Where, where said objects are Is not that allowed. What happened? There's a lot of poop did bubble Derek, talk did here. Derek Is that for Pride the microphone? <laughs> yes, yeah, for Pride Month, Jeremy. Oh. Jesus. Ah, so did you bring this this yeah, microphone Derek, in from Derek home? snuck in his own <laughs> took his own microphone. This isn't the right microphone. Why is that microphone vibrating? Hmm, that's weird. <laughs> oh shit. I, I no, don't do this. It's way overrated. I'm sure there's probably a lot of drug dealers and or or, or mules or something like that. Dude, that, the anus is called the prison wallet for a reason. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You can put a lot of things. No, in there. Don't know. I had a buddy actually. <laughs> he's a, also a stand-up comedian, and he comes through quite often. Yeah, and uh, he has a four-year-old, and <laughs> he went to put the four-year-old in the bathtub, and and wind up putting their muscle. Put the put the four-year-old in the bathtub. Turned around for a, a minute, came back, and the four-year-old was playing with two Hot Wheels, uh. and. Gabe's like, where did you get these Hot Wheels? You know, I didn't put these in the bath with you. He goes, I had them in my pocket. <laughs> and he goes, no, you didn't, son. Your shorts don't even have pockets. And then he proceeded, where's your pocket? He proceeded to point to his butthole. <laughs> so Gabe's kid keeps his Hot Wheels up there oh in God. his pocket. <laughs> I swear to Christ, that's what he called it. He called it his pocket. It's wow. like a garage. It's a yeah. Hot Wheel garage. It's yeah. Garage. Yeah, so you can put a lot of things up there. So I think it's a good deal. I'd say underrated. According to Patton Oswalt, the human anus is nightmarishly elastic. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Mm. I can't even fit two full size cars in my garage. The poor kid, he can fit. He's got a two two car garage himself. Yeah. Wow. Good for you, buddy. Yeah. Did he back to back them or side to side? <laughs> I'm not real sure. I'll have to ask. But uh, you have to parallel yeah. park one in there. Yeah, That's I'd impressive. Th- I'd, yeah. <laughs> Put right. it in sideways. Yeah. I feel like it had to be a <sighs> parallel park. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. I'm more impressed by the fact the kid can parallel park a car. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a that skill that I impressive. don't have. That's huh. uh, while inside a pocket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that's impressive. Wow. Okay. Well, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to 
Whew, uh, new and popular segment. It's growing quick. It's the, uh, yep, I'm that guy or fuck that guy. Again, if you have any suggestions for these, send them to us. We'd appreciate it. Whew, all right. First one, the guy who pushes your buttons just to make you react. I'm that guy. Like, oh, 250% I'm that guy. Hi. If I could piss you off or make you uncomfortable, I'm in. Hi. I'm that guy. Oh, yeah. All you fuckers that are so goddamn offended. No, that's Bye. an easy one. I do it on well, purpose. That's an easy one. Yeah. Jeremy? Jeremy? Um, okay, if it's something like this or like doing stand up from the stage, then yeah. But if it's like person to person, no, not because I'm afraid of them, but because I'm just not interested in talking to them. So uh, the less I can push your buttons and make you hang around, the better for me. I got a question. Whatever can end the conversation. Question. What? Do you do this to your wife? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he <laughs> That's a good question. Because she won't uh, leave. She won't leave. I keep trying. I, I have done she everything I know short of buying her her own place. <laughs> which, which is on the agenda now that he's yes, been working all this overtime. All, all the overtime is going to pay for her place. I This is a very strategic way on how to win an argument. You push the right buttons and it ejects its seat and leaves. That's It's amazing. Yeah. All right. Next one. The guy that watches TikToks at max volume in public. Get a fucking pair of AirPods, you freak. Fuck that fuck guy. Fuck that guy. Oh, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. Do you know what? And and this happens a lot. And if it's in if it's in public or like at work or someplace, I definitely have the balls to go up to the guy and go, hey, can you just turn that down? Not everybody wants to hear your shit. I have the balls to do that, but the one that drives me probably the most Must crazy... Must not take much balls. Uh, well, the one that drives me the most nuts, though, out of all of them, is whenever you're in the, sna- the neighboring stall in the bathroom taking a shit, and somebody's got some... Got their fu- gay porn oh, on. God. I yeah. apologize. <laughs> yeah, thanks, buddy. Appreciate <laughs> all it. All apologies. I'll try to not let oh, it happen again. Jesus, that drives me nuts. That's yes. called advertising. Oh, <laughs> God. Called, yeah? Yeah, I fuck mean, fuck that guy. Yeah, Jeremy. That guy. Yeah, fuck that guy, I yeah, guess. Good deal. I mean, I don't hear all that well, so usually I can't hear him. <laughs> good, good point. That's true. You're getting up there in age. Man, you, know? you are old as fuck. Yeah, that's true. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay off the lawn. That's right. Uh, next one. The guy who drives the speed limit in the left lane. Fuck that guy. So very hard. Right in the ass with no lube and no spit. I, oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Fucking just as raw and dry as it can fucking be. Yep. Fuck that guy. I, I, I hate this person oh. so much. I hate this person so much. Like, mm. I, I, we now have a platform that we can use and, and put across the message. And if I could get everybody in the United States, or even at least in the Midwest, if you're in the left lane and somebody passes you in the right lane, you're a fucking dick. Fuck that guy. Jeremy? Uh, have I told you my story? I think about so. this. Yes. Yeah. All right. But go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Maybe some people, some people haven't heard it. That's right. Okay. Well, uh, I was on the interstate one time in the fast lane uh, going behind uh, a realtor named Barbara, <laughs> Barbara. who had her... That's her, right. I could remember her, her, her van just all fucking, what do they call it, wrapped with Barbara. her face and her phone number, her cell phone <laughs> number. And so I just calmly <laughs> called that number. <laughs> You and, drive like shit. And she answered, and she said, hello, this is, this is Barbara. I said, Barbara, hi, it's Jeremy. And she, I could just hear the wheels turning in her head. She was trying to figure out, who's Jeremy? Who's Jeremy? And, but she didn't want to lose a client over this shit. So she's like, oh, Jeremy, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I just had a quick question for you. How come you're going 55 in the fast lane? <laughs> And she looks up in her rearview mirror and sees me, and I just wave, and she caught over. It was the most civil way I think I could have possibly handled the situation. And you waved. That was my favorite uh-huh. part of that story. I just yeah. waved. No fucking flip nope. it. Just waved like, just get the fuck out of my way, bitch. Bringing it to your attention that oh, you are being fantastic. a twat. fantastic. Oh. That's a great story. No, yeah. I am. Um, but when it comes to this, yeah, in the left lane, fuck that guy. Yeah. Uh, now, I am a guy who has structured my life now to where i try to leave plenty early i have plenty of time and i will go the speed limit but i will stay in the right lane i know where i'm supposed to be as someone who's rides dirty quite a bit Uh i follow those same rules yes when i'm when i'm riding dirty i go the speed limit but i 
always go into the right lane. You're Not even the middle lane. <laughs> I stay in the right lane. If I have to get over to let somebody in, fine. But yeah. Yeah, just be considerate. Now, when I'm not riding dirty, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll do 80 down Kellogg. Yep. I don't care. All right. Jeremy, finish what you were saying, I think. That was it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he that, did. yeah, fuck okay. that guy. No, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Okay. Uh, next one. Uh, oh, there it is. Next one. The guy who thinks everything is a joke. Cheers. Four and a half years. I'm that guy. I think everything's a joke. I, I, I realize that, and that is such a fatal flaw on your part because none of it has been a joke. We have meant every <laughs> fucking word. And much like my wife, you will not take the hint. <laughs> so fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck that guy. I'm with you. Yeah, and, and that is the problem with that guy is that not only does he think everything is a joke, that guy's sense of humor is shit. Oh, thanks, man. Most generally. I'm just talking... Anybody yeah, who I does agree this. with you. 100% oh, I agree yeah. with you. I, if I, that guy was at all clever, mm-hmm. one, he'd be able to pick his spots. But sure. two, it might be a little bit better if he was just that funny all the fucking time, but he never is. Yeah, and, and that's totally something that I, I mean, I do have. And this is really true about myself. I think, I mean, I've been doing, we've been doing the show now for four and a half years. And I think I, if I didn't have this show to do, I think I would be a much sadder person, but I grieve a little bit differently. So I've tried to find... What in the fuck do you have to be happy about? Right, I was going to say, this Especially makes you with happy? This show. Yeah. Oh my God. You, yeah. Really? This, this is it, yeah. This is it. All no. your endorphins are all fucking popping off right now. Would oh, you dude, like yeah. to star yeah. in a snuff film? <laughs> yeah, with Mickey Mouse? I sort of... I'll, I'll dress up in a costume if I have to. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a job done. Yeah, for that means I can quit and be quit. Yeah, just dress up like Mickey Mouse. I'll be Pluto. Uh, but no, I, I really do. I think that there are this some. This will be people, my last time on the podcast. <laughs> okay, fine. If I'd have known that you were getting like your jollies from this, no, I yeah. got my jollies. But no, I, I I genuinely like doing the show um, because I think that c- certain people like think everything's funny and it's it's kind of a healthier thing for them. I think okay. they have to they have to accept humor in a different. That's why the honestly the darker for me the better. Like. The darker the humor, the better it is. Anthony Jeselnik, I fucking love because it, it's pretty fucking dark. Right, but those like are it. jokes. Yeah. Everything he's saying is a joke. Yeah. You're supposed to take it as that. Yeah. Right. I guess I was thinking more the the asshole at work. Than, hey, you working hard or hardly working? Oh, that no. Fucking that guy. Guy. Oh, fuck that yeah, guy. Fuck that guy. Yeah, I'm definitely not I mean, that guy. No. Shipper okay. fucking attitude. No, I, I agree. That's where I went with it, too. Okay, I apologize. And that's that's on, that's You on know me. what? That apology is not accepted, Scotty. Go fuck yourself. Fair. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, Take your apology, ram it right up your ass, along with two Hot Wheels cars. <laughs> two Hot Wheels Parallel. cars. Parallel. Okay. Mm-hmm. Parallel parking Hot Wheels. That's the name of the episode. Um, <laughs> next one. <laughs> Poor Gabe. <laughs> like, really, he's the big loser in all of it, because now he's got to think, well, is he... What, what prompted him to put it up there in the first place? How does he know that two of them would fit? Like, hey, you need your hands free yeah. sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, man. The butthole is the Bluetooth <laughs> of, <laughs> of, of, yeah, of the, the Hot Wheels world. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Shit. Wow. Okay. Uh, last one. The guy who changes the radio station from the passenger seat. Do people still listen to the radio? <laughs> yeah, or changes the song. Somebody that takes control over the radio who is not driving. I mean... This I, is apparently it, top it 10 it things that piss people off. Well, people fucking need to relax. I, I agree. If I you're just, in the car with somebody mm-hmm. and you're listening to music, that guy's a shit conversationalist, <laughs> no, I'll tell you right? that. Right? Why are you riding with that guy? I, I have always grown up with man law being something I truly believe in. And the rule is whoever's car you're taking is in charge of the radio or the CD player or whatever. So if the yeah, person I, in the I passenger guess it's just not seat. That important to me. No, me neither. Oh, you guys are crazy. Fuck that guy. I do not like that person. And if I'm in the passenger seat. Well, we're though, not musicians like you, Scotty. Yeah, then I'm that guy. Then I'm going to change the goddamn radio station if I don't like it. So, yeah, it's a, sure. it's a, yeah. It's a you know, give and take. Why don't you actually thing. stand up for yourself, you pussy? Tell the guy, quit touching my radio <laughs> and get on with your fucking life. <laughs> right. So, all right, fine. None of you guys fucking want to play. Uh, all right. We don't care. <laughs> we don't That's more care. The, the point. We just don't care. I'll give you some Hot Wheels cars here in a little bit, Jeremy. All right. No, thanks. I think you want them anyway. 
Uh, I was thinking more like Tonka trucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably could fit him. Yeah, yeah. The last Oh, power wheels. Power <laughs> wheels. <laughs> Fantastic. I can park a two-seater Jeep. <laughs> I've done. I, I stretched before the show. I'm sure you I did my. Thank I did God. my yoga, and so I got good and stretched out. Me, it's amazing how much DDP yoga involves the butthole. <laughs> it involves the butthole. JP and I, our chairs actually have <laughs> backs to the seats. <laughs> Jeremy's does it right now. No, it's gone. M- mine <laughs> is actually six feet tall. And when he gets up, it'll smell like this microphone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. All right. But well, that is, yep, I'm that guy or fuck that guy. Now we get to move on to Jeremy Joseph's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. If you guys have any suggestions, send them to us because we actually have a uh, listener's suggestion. This is from at old guy 16. I believe this is from Twitter. Uh, they want to know something you can say about a horse, but not your spouse. That's a shit. <laughs> yeah. Horse yeah. talk. Come on, man. JP? Nothing? Something that I can say about a horse, yeah, but, but not can, my spouse. That's right. I, I mean... <laughs> Look at the cock on that was, horse. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> I mean, yeah, he can say that. <laughs> that's You can. I right, guess. that's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> okay, also... Yeah, that's that, what I'm saying. That's true. Kind of limits my... Yeah, uh... I, I ride her all the time. I, that's that's the uh, that's the one that I could think of because uh, that's definitely not. I guess what in I in my particular case, boy, that thing's got some big round eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I keep my eyes wide open there all the go. time. Yeah. Alrighty. That's good shit. I like that. Any more down there, Jeremy? Are you good? No, that's it. Okay. That's that's the only thing <laughs> that I can the say. Only thing. All right. Sounds good. You know horses have the largest eye of any land animal I in sure North America. Do. I sure do. I know that from mm-hmm. horse stock. Mm-hmm. Uh next one. If you blank, you might be a little too slutty. If you have more than one load up your ass at a time, <laughs> yeah, you that, might be too slutty. That's pretty slutty. I, I actually have one for women, actually. If if you bring, like, uh, a sleeve of condoms in your purse, you're a little too slutty. Number one, hmm. that's a guy's responsibility. Well, number two, who fucking uses <laughs> condoms? <laughs> What the fuck? Fine. If you don't take condoms anyways. Yeah. If you use a diaphragm still. <laughs> I think saying. if you bring a sleeve of condoms, you're not slutty enough. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think you're wrong. Uh, be safe out there, kids. Yeah. Uh, no, don't do it. <laughs> Fucking, the sensation's way different. You need to learn your lesson the right way, which is get all the STDs out when you're young so you have a good recovery period, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, oh, okay. Except for AIDS. AIDS. AIDS gets you. Doesn't it? Yeah, but I'm on prep. Oh, prep. So I'm good. Okay, fair enough. How about you, Jeremy Joseph? If you don't think it's a big deal when you get chlamydia. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, good couple thing shots you. in the ass, you cured. Because <laughs> remember, I, I, would, th- I would. I thought so I've I heard. It. So I've heard. Or paralleling some cart or <laughs> some <laughs> Hot Wheels. That'll do it, too. Or, or you spend an extra long time stroking your half hard cock. <laughs> That's what I, Turns I've heard. Out that's, that's not good either. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. not. It's kind of an embarrassing mm. story at the yeah. doctor's yep, office. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Okay, uh, next one: bad celebrity endorsement ideas. Jada Pinkett Smith, Head and Shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I like it. Uh, how about you, there, uh, Mister JP? Bad celebrity endorsements. Oh yeah, I've got a whole bunch for Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada, Go ahead, keep going. Though. Oh, Jada, Jada or now starring Jada Pinkett Smith is in Tangled. Just anything. I that whole family. Fuck them. Okay. Yep. JP, anything at all? Yeah. I should have looked at these questions. You should mm-hmm. have. Mm-hmm. have, have and a, rejected that. How much? Rosie ch- <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell for any food product. Slim fast. Slim fast. Absolutely. Yeah. She Ooh. was on there. Was she really? Was she a slim fast person? I think so. Yeah, it didn't work out. Crash and burn. Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think she was for slim fast yeah. for a while. Absolutely. Didn't work. Yeah, that, that's didn't a good one. Didn't work. Uh, how about you, Jeremy Joseph? 
Uh, Vanessa Bryant for Sikorsky Helicopters. <laughs> I was going to go there, too. <laughs> I was going to go Kobe Bryant helicopter lessons. A whole bunch of them. I mean, we can just keep going. Well, you on can on. just be the spokesperson for Sikorsky. Oh, you could. You sure could. Uh, all right. Fine. Uh, next one. How would future archaeologists explain everyday objects from today? Uh, I, I would say uh, everything in this room used to offend everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this chair used to piss people off. <laughs> The because it wasn't gender neutral. <laughs> the fax machine <laughs> was racist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Even the microphones smelled like buttholes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. I can just imagine like them going back. You know how whenever you get into like a car from the 60s now, they still have A-track ta tape players, right? Well, if you go into like the 90s and early 2000s car, they all have CD players. Like, can you imagine this being on the R Antiques Roadshow? Yeah. This. No, right. This. They would put in a disc, disc, and it would play about 13 to 20 songs, and they were actually stolen from the internet. <laughs> what you have here is a genuine Sparkomatic <laughs> with a Jensen subwoofer <laughs> and 6 by 9 It had an under-dash equalizer. It's absolutely wonderful example. It's absolutely exquisite. And then exhibit breaks through the walls. <laughs> <laughs> like the Kool-Aid man. All of this equipment retailed for $65 brand new. Today, we put an aquarium 40, in your car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking love it. All right. Uh, last one. Which celebrity would be the worst phone sex operator? Dead or alive. Go for it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Harry Carey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling. <laughs> hey, I'm going to jerk around hey. your cock and balls right now. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> I really want you to come for it, Megan. Put it all over my glasses. <laughs> I'm going to swallow it down with a nice ice cold Budweiser. If you were a hot dog and you were starving, would you eat yourself? Holy fucking shit. Oh, my hat's off to both of you. Great, great job. Uh, I, 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 I thought about this. I mean, normally you have the, like, the generic ones that everybody picks, like Polly Shore. That's always one that I always go go with. But I thought long and hard about this, and I was thinking, I was like, Chris Rock, man. <laughs> Take off your clothes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think that'd be good. Bend over. Get ready to take it. That, that'd, be, uh, that'd be mine. Chris Rock would be mine. Show me your asshole. I'm going to put some Hot Wheels in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How about you, Jeremy? Brittany Griner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wow. Okay. I'm going to have sexual intercourse with you now. <laughs> <laughs> they taught me this in Russia. Wow. Yes, my clitoris is bigger than your penis. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's if you'd not like, I can be yet. the man. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that is questions and preguntas again. I love that segment. Uh, but again, guys, if you have any suggestions to them or suggestions that you want to send to us, send them to at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram or at L O T sidelines on Twitter. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines draft. You're pissy about it. No, I'm not. You were pissy about that. I'm one. not. JP I'm JP taught me for the longest time that instead <laughs> of counting down three, two, one, he taught me to do the three and then go. 
And so I've been doing it every single time. And instead of yeah. going, hey, man, good job. He just now is just laughing at me because I do well, what he told me. Like I think you're he, pissed off. I'm, about that one. I'm more amazed by the fact you had to be taught that. Yeah. I, I, we had to teach him. I mean, it, some, only, t- it only took four and a half years. You count on your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I didn't. I mean, it's not like the old way was causing a problem. Right. But apparently it offended JP. Yeah, I so like, I, I like it. I, I, di- I didn't want to be offensive to JP. Let's be professional it does, ma- it does add a, a element of professionalism yeah. to this. Okay, right. that's fine. We're professional here. Okay. We're nothing if not professional. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, no, last week's draft, which I, uh, what did we draft last week, Jeremy, Joseph, you remember? I just know I lost and you won. <sighs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I know. Something. Yeah. Um, I, I, I do. I, I'll get there. I do remember it. it I only watch the shows that I'm on. I know. So I, I don't know I, what you drafted. I'm not week. shocked. No, it was, the, it was the best inventions of all time. Oh, yeah. Uh, and oh, I, did, I did watch that one, actually. Yeah. And it was very, very, you know, uh-huh. uh broad yeah. all the things yeah. that you could get and i got like probably four out of the five that i picked are like the most important things ever and still lost so thank you to all you listeners and fans yeah, really do appreciate it but jeremy joseph won with uh, the internet and gunpowder mm-hmm. so uh so yeah jeremy this week you get the championship picks dude so uh you get the back to back at the end i am i'm a natural born winner that's, that's right uh, uh-huh that's what i do <laughs> all i ever do is win, win 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 and then the week before that uh derek won uh but jp took second so he is not going to get the uh the first pick this week okay i get the shit pick because i suck so uh that's what i'm gonna do and so that means that uh our draft this week is actually our bucket list. Okay. Things we want to do before we kick the bucket. Right. Oh, man. I, As a reminder, you don't get a bucket list if you use a coupon. You don't? mm oh, That's Harbor Freight's rules. I, I really, really want to do that. Tough shit. Okay, fine. So uh, I, I, I figured nobody's going to pick this, but this is probably my... Uh, my number one, and that is, uh, I, I want to golf at the Masters. I, I, I want to golf in Augusta. Augusta? So, okay. Yep, I want to golf in Augusta, and uh, I think that would be... You're rich. Uh, Make it happen. No, not that rich. Absolutely not. You got the guy who did Tiger Woods clubs. I did. To do your club. And Just ask him for a fucking invite to the fucking Augusta. Shittiest part of my game right now is that, that, uh, that, that driver. driver. God so. damn it. Yeah. So, but yeah, that, that is okay. one thing I would love to, even just going there. I could respect that. So, so that's mine. Uh, JP, you get your first pick. What do you got? My first pick is to be rich like you and Derek. <laughs> oh. I want Scotty and Derek money. <laughs> Scotty, what about Jeremy money? Oh, he couldn't. I could never. <laughs> <laughs> this is realistic. Before I die, okay. I don't have time for Jeremy wow. money. Jeremy money is, is, is I it? I don't there? have time to cure, to procure uh, that much okay. cash and gold. All right, that's fine. Okay. Half so. of my money is invested in coupons. <laughs> <laughs> As it should be. Uh huh. Four buckets. That's what it is. Uh, so, Jeremy, you get two picks back to back. Uh, I would actually like to go to space. Oh, really? I would. Wow. I don't think I'd want to like go to Mars or anything. I think that would suck shit. It really would. Actually, um, the idea that people think Elon Musk wants to escape Earth to go like basically live in a phone booth. Yeah. Uh, that's stupid. Um, but no, I, I would actually like to be a part of an actual rocket launch and go into space. Okay. Uh, Hopefully like Sally ride. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then get cancer and die. <laughs> Cause that's what happened to her. <laughs> <laughs> she blew up, man. Not, wow. No, that was Krista McCullough. Oh, okay. same thing. That's nope. what I meant. No. Okay. <laughs> Not Krista same. McCullough then. Okay. <laughs> that's she didn't make it space. Right. Wow. Uh, anyways, anyways. Um, uh, MLB Fantasy Camp. What is that? Where old timers get to go play baseball with former retired Major League Baseball players. Oh wow, that sounds like you a don't lot know what Fantasy things. Camp is. No, I don't. Really? I've never heard of that oh. before. I definitely. I think most every go. team has one, usually at their spring training facility. Yeah, um, that makes uh, that makes perfect sense. Uh, all right, you know, as a guy who's pitched before, 
Yeah, <laughs> I've been I've been experiencing some control issues, but yeah, hell, yeah, hell of a pitcher from what I saw. That's right. Uh, um, he threw the heat. Right. All right, JP, you get your uh, your next pick. Uh, grow a vagina. Uh, wow, that's uh, like in a garden or <laughs> just on, anyway, on you, just like on my forehead. Okay, oh, somewhere like dude, know. that'll get you some attention. Yeah. I want the That'll get you all the dudes. Grow a vagina. Do you think Facebook will allow me to put that on there? To grow a vagina? Yeah. I would guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Are right. they against gardening? Body gardening? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Apparently. We'll um, see. Grow okay. a vagina. That's my number two. All right. That's that's fair. Uh, mine are definitely very, very, I don't know, odd. Stupid? No. Yeah. Stupid would be a good good uh, way to put it. Um. But the next one I want to go do again. I, I want to go uh, blue bluefin tuna fishing. I want to do that uh, again and catch one. I've never gone. Oh, I thought you said you, you want to do it again. You want to do it again? No, That's I I, I referred to it earlier this episode, uh, so I was just mentioning it again. Mm. Uh, but no, I want to go out to the Northeast and go out on a actual charter fishing boat. Like I don't know the, I'd do the pinwheel. I'd do the wicked pissa. I'd do one of those boats. And go out and catch a bluefin. That would be fucking awesome. Um, the other one, I, I want to visit a couple of places that I, I just don't think I ever will. But I would love to actually see uh, like Machu Picchu. I think that would be fucking amazing. Mm. So I'm gonna put that down as my number three. Visit Machu Picchu. I don't ever actually have a desire to to travel much, I but know. if I ever did. The yeah, the Central American native ruins yes. down there. Yeah, it's Peru pretty and- pretty crazy. Uh, JP, your next pick, dude. Fix my car window. Fix your car window. Okay. Yeah. That's oh, a- I like to do th- some of this has to be attainable. <laughs> yeah. And that I think for sixty bucks I could get it done. We, just- maybe by next week, you know, a guy who's in the field, I might yeah. be able to help with that. Okay. Uh, ooh, on my list, there's something about keystring. You know, uh, no, that's not on my that's not on my list. I don't think. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, you get two. Okay, I would like to eat like an authentic, true, genuine wagyu steak. Okay, ooh. okay, like like an actual one from Japan, like one of those fucking thousand dollar fucking ribeyes. Yes. Oh, okay. And your next pick, that, by the way, excellent picking. Uh, my, uh, good for you. That's a great pick. Thank you. I'm being honest. Thank you. Uh-huh. You want me to keep um, complimenting you and keep going? or? Yeah, while well, I think of some other shit, just throw out some, <laughs> <laughs> just some more compliments, compliments. The excellence of that pick was absolutely amazing, Jeremy Joseph. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> okay. Next pick, Jeremy. God damn. Th- there's... As I get older, I'm not so sure that I really actually want to do it. I think they anymore. change. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah. Fuck it. I'm going to say it anyway. Skydive. Oh, I no. I want to skydive. See, and I'm glad somebody did that because I, I, there's no way in fucking hell I'm doing that. Mm-hmm. Ever. I don't have, I don't mm-hmm. have the... No how, no way, no, no fucking fuck way. no. Uh, and especially when it comes to luck, if if I didn't have bad luck, I oh, wouldn't yeah. have any Jesus luck at Christ, all. Yeah, look at you. I know <laughs> this is all earned. This isn't luck. So I would be the one whose parachute fails, and then the backup parachute somehow <laughs> also fails. Yeah, 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 like, it comes like, out, and then bah! just fucking flies off. It just screamed, yeah, "Bye, Felicia!" No as it, yeah, yeah, yeah like, man, no. I'm with you. So, fuck that. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna make sure that there's a reason to jump out of the plane first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's it's not killed. even going to be wearing a parachute in no. the first place. He's just ready to get it over with. That's That'll right. be the last yeah. thing on his bucket list. Yeah, when I'm 85. <laughs> yeah, just fucking jump. The first sign of real incontinence. That's right. I'm just going to jump. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. That goes back to JP. Go to or slash live in Amsterdam. Ooh. Hmm. That's, uh, that's pretty damn good, dude. I think that would be fucking awesome. That, that Is it for the healthcare? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Is no. It, it's for the weed. It's for the weed. And the, the fucking. Because, yeah, you can't get that here. Legalized prostitution. Everywhere. And the fucking laid back fucking What are you going to do? Fuck some chicks? 
Uh, maybe. Maybe. He might. I mean, uh, fuck it. Sure. You get him hopped he, up on enough weed. Yeah. 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 He can grow a vagina and become yeah, a lesbian. Yeah, I mean, exactly. anything's possible. Red today. light district. Sure. Ha- happy Pride Month, everybody. Mm. Um. All right. So I get my last two. And Jeremy, I thought you were going to take my pick. There's I w- nothing you want to do that I want to <laughs> do. Ever. So uh, my, when we go on trips, me and my wife, we always like direct where we go around food that that's like how we determine where we're gonna go and it's like rich oh, people god damn would. it there was one that i was gonna put can i take my last one back fuck you no uh, unless Fuck. i take it so well you're not going to okay that's fine there is a there's i've always wanted to go to a five-star michelin like a michelin like two-star a restaurant. tire shop no Michelin stars is, is really culinary. Get some good tires, guys. Culinary amazement is what it is. But there's quite a few, uh, quite a few in Florida. But there's one in particular that is like a, a Michelin that has two stars, and it is sushi where they prepare mm. it in front of you, and it is fucking just gold. And so that's where I would want. I would want to eat at an. Do actual, they kill the fish too? Do they knock it out? They go to got it right in front of you. No, no, they get it shipped in like in one day, and it's it's fucking amazing. So yes, I, that that Next would be day one. Next day sushi. All right. Next day sushi. So yeah, I would want to go to one of those restaurants. I think it would be amazing. Okay, and uh, let's see. God dang it! I've got. I've got so many that I really want to go to, but I can't put my finger on like the one. Well, pick one. It's uh, sometime today. I always forget when I always pick my last pick. It's you know, it's just not the not the mm kind of one yeah. that I want. So I guess it'll be. I want to take me and my bindings, and I'm like, oh. I wondered if that was coming. <laughs> it's I wondered where that was coming in. Uh, I, I like want to ski Mount Everest. Uh, no, no, no. That's pretty rocky. So it's not not a good time up there. Yeah, I don't think people ski no. Everest much. No, I'd like to see him try. I, I sure would too. It's rather pretty, than try to I'd climb it. Love yeah, to see him try. Off. Actually, yeah. if, I, if I remember correctly, there was actually somebody who tried to either snowboard or ski uh, Mount Everest. Didn't and work out. That they never yeah. found him again. Right. So <laughs> yeah, not gonna do that. Because there are pieces of I would of them love everywhere. for you to snowboard <laughs> Everest. <laughs> right. Me too. No, Somehow he'd still ask me to do the fucking podcast, I'm and sure he'd make it. I would do it in the he'd afterlife, Jeremy. That's it. what I would do. Now, I, I, if there is like the go-to place, I would say it would probably be probably either Park City, Utah, or the Swiss Alps. But uh, I'll, I'll say snowboard and go Park for City. the Swiss Alps. I'm gonna go Park City. I don't like to fucking fly, dude. In that plane ride dude, over the ocean, bro. fuck that. Yeah, I don't right. care. I, I mean, eventually someday, but I would much rather go to Park City, and that's actually attainable. So, snowboard well, of Park City it is for you. I'm surprised you haven't gone. Uh, I would love to, but I I worked okay. I worked Did that too film, fil- film fest. I, I, no, mm-hmm. I worked too much so I can Snuff afford this studio. Snuff and fest. fuck you guys. Uh, but okay, but that's my that's my list. JP, this is your final and last my pick. My final pick is to win a draft. Win a draft. Okay. And you can make that happen. <laughs> you sure can. He might actually win this one. God, I hope so. Yeah. I'm sick of losing. Jeremy Joseph, you get to wrap this bitch up with your final pick. Well, since nobody took the one that I should have put for fourth. Yeah. Can I get rid of that fucking skydiving piece of shit? Fine. Yeah, yeah you can. That's a shitty one, too. Yeah. I want to play in the World Series of Poker. Ooh, respect, respect. That one's That's good. That's a good one. That is a I good one. I should have done that one. You should have. You're instead a better of, poker player than Jeremy. Fix my car window. Yeah, fuck you with your car yeah. window. Playing yeah. the. All right. Good, yeah. Good pick, buddy. Hey, good WSOP, pick. man. I hope you get second place. Okay, so that you replaced skydiving with World Series. Now you have to pick your last pick. Uh, well, isn't it obvious? No. I want to sucker punch Benny Agbayana. <laughs> 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 and that's how Jeremy wins the draft uh, right there. Oh, jeez. Uh, but no, I, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of places like I really <coughs> want to go and see. I want to go see yeah, like... Me too, Scotland. I want to go to Scotland. I want to go to the Louvre. I really want to go to Australia. I really do. I, I it's genuinely the getting want there. That's what sucks. That's what sucks. Uh, sitting on an airplane for 12, 14, 14 you know, in hours. Like, in like 30 years... They'll be able to transport people. Oh, I'm sure. It'll be there in like 20 minutes. Yep. That would be fucking amazing. For sure. But it's not going to happen in my lifetime, yeah. dog. Well. So, I mean, that would be... You don't think you're going to live another 30? No. I I could definitely see somebody choking you out. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, but no, there's that. I want to go see the Louvre. 
is a big one. I would I would love the fucking Middle East and the Russia area to calm down so I can go see the some of the agriculture and historic buildings over there. Italy, I would go to Italy too. Italy. You want to see Italy. farming? No, not agriculture. Sorry. <laughs> you just mean uh, culture? Architecture. I, Archite- architecture is what I meant to say. Architecture, ah. agriculture, it's almost the same. That's sure. pretty close. close. Uh, no, I want to. That's what s- he wants to do, folks. He wants to plow under the pyramids, <laughs> the pyramids. and plant a farm. <laughs> He wants we, to plant a field. You know, we'll dig up a whole bunch of mysteries. We don't know who built those motherfuckers, True. by the way. Yeah, aliens. I hear aliens. That's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking shit. So, yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> excuse me. Ancient aliens is coming to Wichita, by the way. Oh, yeah? If they right. already haven't came and Dude. left left crop circles and shit. Let me... I need to dial in my scope. Are they really? uh, <laughs> yes. That, you know where they're going to be? If that Giorgio Seleucus... Yes, he will be here. Oh, he will be here. I would love to take him out. (laughs) Well, you may have your chance. Okay, out of all the places in Wichita, this is going to be an inside joke between all three of us, and we're only going to be we're going to be the only ones that understand. But out of all the places that you could go and have a public event, where do you think ancient aliens should be? Like the keeper. Mm Okay, where Uh, they're going? No, 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 no. It's a cotillion ballroom. (laughs) Nailed it right on the fucking head, Jerry. Are you (laughs) serious? They're going to be at the cotillion. So they they can't even fill Hartman Arena. Yes. Wow. No way! At the, at the cotillion. Those of you who aren't from Wichita, this is that like, is a hub of, <laughs> of <laughs> UFO and extraterrestrial yes. activity. Yes, people Absolutely. that go to the Asian market, they're just going to wow. flock there. I believe I went to my first ever heavy metal concert there. I, I, did, so. I did too, yeah. but Megadeth. Oh, was it really Megadeth? Yeah, wow. yeah. got uh, Dave Mustaine's autograph. Uh, three Days Grace, Breaking Benjamin, and Buck Cherry was who I went and saw for the first time. That was thirty years ago, and it was a shithole then. <laughs> no, it, it's, they haven't done many improvements. I, I can't imagine they would. It's dark in there, so you can't see the imperfections. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it is. Or the you cum can smell on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> it just the whole layout wow. screams, you know, <laughs> roofy yeah. somebody. Right, it does. The whole place smells like JP's microphone. It does, and it's not pleasant. <laughs> it's really not. Two out of five stars. <laughs> Would not recommend. Wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, if you're in the Wichita area, go check out Ancient Aliens at the Cotillion Ballroom in Wichita, Kansas. All right. But or more, don't. But don't. <laughs> yeah, or don't, don't give those fuckers any support. That's what I said. You know where they should go? To the Kansas Cosmosphere to find out what <laughs> space travel actually is. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, an, there's, there's like people that know who I am and the things that we talk about outside of, of work, and they... They're like, come on, dude. You kind of want to go just to, I mean, it'll be at least entertainment. And I was like, no, I'm not giving them any of my fucking yeah. money. Mm-hmm. There's no way in hell. Come on. It'll be really entertaining, though. It's so funny. And I'm like, yeah, I want to be around those kind of people. The existence Laughing. of those people so just genuinely makes my blood boil <laughs> that I, I just, I can't. I fucking can't. It would be like being around flat earthers. I can't do it. What about flat mooners? Love them. <laughs> Fucking love them. They're right, by they, the way. They are. So we've never landed on it, right, Jeremy? Mm, that, no, we've landed on it. Oh, it's flat, though. It's flat. That's oh, why they God, can land oh, on that it. That makes sense. You can't land on a round surface. You will tip over. <laughs> Everybody tried. knows that. Everybody fucking knows that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. Uh, but anyways, back to what we were initially That's why talking you never about. see a fly on a baseball. <laughs> yeah. Or on the moon. <laughs> right. Incidentally. That's, ah, oh, man. That's that's what I should have put on my bucket list is to go see ancient aliens live. You have? Oh, there you go. Should have, could have. I'd love to see have. ancient aliens on ice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'd be great. It wouldn't be any worse. <laughs> see him doing triple axles about Mm -hmm. how the pyramids were built oh that'd be so great Uh, but anyways you can either go to the cotillion uh, ballroom and watch ancient aliens or you could go to twitter which is at lot sidelines or facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for your bucket list uh your favorite bucket list who wins this week um, I don't know. Gets uh, gets a sticker that they can put on their piece of paper for this week's uh, episode notes. Uh, but yeah, uh, so you can do one or the other. Have fun. Do that. Uh, we would appreciate it. Uh, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. 
brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, I have to uh, thank uh, my my good friend who I've never met, Dan Cummins, uh, who keeps supplying me with really good ideas for horrible disasters <laughs> through his podcast, and then I just keep taking them and passing them on. Um, but uh, basically, uh, starting in the early 1800s, um, you know, when people think about cruel treatment throughout the world, they think about like gold mining and diamond mining, the way that people are treated. What they don't think about is banana farming. Oh, um, it turns out uh, back then bananas were this hot new item. And uh, when they were introduced to North America, uh, they were worth more than gold. Oh, wow! and uh, so they were big business. And the people who were selling them basically used a lot of the locals uh, for slave labor. And uh, that continued for quite some time. They used them in deplorable conditions. And then on uh, November 12th of 1928, uh, workers on these banana plantations kind of uh, unified and they uh, went on strike and they made a series of nine, what I would think very reasonable demands, uh, stop hiring subcontractors, mandatory collective insurance, compensation for work accidents, uh, hygienic dormitories and six day work weeks, uh, increase in daily pay, uh, get paid every week instead of every month. Um, stop, uh, paying us in coupons to the company store as opposed <laughs> to real money. And, uh, let's see, uh, getting rid of the company stores altogether so that you weren't in debt to them for the rest of your life and, uh, improvements of hospital services. Uh, so they went on strike and then, uh, they gathered outside of the United Fruit Company on December 5th, 1928 to uh, continue to pick it. And um, I guess they had had enough of that shit because uh, the, uh, they deployed a, a regiment of 300 army soldiers from, uh, from Bogota. And uh, they came and set up shop and basically told the strikers that uh, you have five minutes to disperse. And... I guess they were going to hold true to their values. They would not be intimidated, and they were calling the Army's bluff. Uh, problem is, the Army was not bluffing. <laughs> they, they gunned them all down? They oh. unleashed a barrage oh. of machine gun fire into a wow. very dense crowd, and um, it's really not clear just how many people were killed. Uh, the official number is 47. That's how many they took credit for. Could be as many as 2,000. Holy They don't shit. know because almost all of the bodies were loaded up onto boats overnight and dumped out into the ocean. Oh. Uh, the only bodies they left were nine. One for each fucking demand that they made. Oh, fuck. Oh, demand that, bitch. I guess that'll show them. <laughs> that'll huh. show them. Oh, wow. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination <laughs> and Legos. Legos have a bunch for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Harambe, rest wow. in peace. Uh -huh. Man. Wow. That's, yeah. That's... Yeah, that was bananas. It's, it's actually... <laughs> It's actually called the 1928 <laughs> Banana Massacre, oh, which yeah. sounds funnier than it is. <laughs> right. I'll be honest. Right. That sounds oh, hilarious. Yeah, it sounds hilarious. Not so much. Sounds like a snuff film. And oddly yeah. enough, the reason that the people couldn't run away, they kept slipping. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Mario Kart tricks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, but yeah, see, this show is also education. It yeah. sure is. Yeah. It things. sure is. <laughs> This uh, comedy show. That's absolutely right. Uh, but you learn uh, things like things about bananas and where to keep your Hot Wheels. <laughs> that's exactly right. Which kind of ties into our shitty situation this week. Uh, does this, it? huh? Does it? Yeah, it All sure right. does. This week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is: Would you rather smell like absolute shit at an Asian food festival, or go to the doctor with Hot Wheels shoved up your ass? As go. Okay, now, the Asian Food Festival already smells like shit. So that's saying something if you go right. there and you and smell, you smell like smell shit. Worse. Good yeah. call. If these Good people point. are like... Just a public place. Let's just not go to the Asian Food Festival. Let's just go to a public, highly dense What do you got against Asians, dude? Why can't I go to yeah, the fucking man. Asian Food I liked Festival? It. I liked it the I, way it like was. Dragons? Why do you got to change it? I just racist it. fuck. I just use it for reference because that's You're where racist, I went. you dude. No. I'm not. We didn't have to change it. No shit. It was good the way it was. A highly pop populated area. I don't know. With a bunch of people. Asian food fest. And you smell like shit. Okay. Okay. 
What would you rather do? <laughs> you have to smell like shit? You smell like absolute yeah, like, shit. Like my microphone. You smell like JP's microphone. Mm, you did not want that. And it's bad. Well, then, I mean, Jeremy? <sighs> I'll go first. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Hot Wheels. Honestly, I am. Uh, simply because, okay, I work with a gentleman who we're pretty sure is a fucking hoarder and he smells like a cat oh. litter box oh, at all times. Awful. Like you can't be close to him and people have wow. brought it to his yeah. attention and he just doesn't care. Mm. His, his thing is he says that uh, the room where he does his laundry, one of his cats, one of his many, many cats gets in there and pees on his clothes to which I think I'd have one fewer cat. <laughs> In that case, I mean, I seriously, to. like his grandkids don't won't come over to his house. You have to tell me it's what this bad. guy's name is afterwards, because I play poker. Does he play poker? Maybe. I play poker I, I, at a guy's I, house. I don't know. And he has like 15 cats and it might be talking about the same guy. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Does your guy have an eye patch? Nope. <laughs> well, then this might be him because this guy doesn't either. My guy does not have an eye patch. I think we're probably talking same dude. Same dude. Uh huh. Hope he listens to the show. He doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Kay. Well, here's the thing. I can go to the festival, smell like shit one time. Once. Mm -hmm. And then it's over. Go home, take a shower, don't smell like shit anymore. But if you go to the doctor's office with Hot Wheels showed up your ass. They take them out uh, one time and it's over. No, no. You are the story of that office forever. They know your name, and they are not keeping it quiet. They are telling you all of their friends. You remember my chlamydia scare? Yeah. Hot Wheels ain't shit to a doctor's <laughs> office. I promise shit. you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I don't care. I I would I would sleep better at night if it was just one time. Okay. And if somebody asked me like, dude, you smell like absolute shit, and I'd be like, mm, I shit my pants. I I, I, ha I had to go, and they they ran out of toilet paper okay. or something. So I had to get right. out of a wedding. I, okay. Yeah. <laughs> to get out of a wedding, I shit my pants. My, shit that's my what pants. happened. My mom was an ER nurse for thirty plus years. Yeah, Hot Wheels ain't nothing. Um, the the list of stuff that they have found in people's asses <laughs> it's a, is it's long, a long list and inclusive. You'd make the news in some of these cases. Hamsters, I've heard. Oh, dude. Multiple rodents. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's um I think it, Whole it, hamster it, farm. emergency rooms, especially they they kind of have their regulars that just walk in. And it's like, what you got up there today? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> they just see him. They start going. Mm -hmm. up. Oh, yeah. that's terrible. Yeah. You ain't going to believe this. I slipped and fell. <laughs> yeah, right I just on. got out of the shower. <laughs> yeah. It's always a slip and fall. That's mm. it. And the sister fister somehow got lost. It's just, I just <laughs> can't get it out. <laughs> It's up there so far. It sure is. I forgot to tie a string onto the end. Unbelievable. Uh, All right, Jeremy, how about you? Jeremy. Oh, no, went. Jeremy already went. JP, how about you? I'm going to go with Hot Wheels, except for I'm, I'm not just going for two Hot Wheels. I want like a whole pack of micro machines. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I was do those make you talk faster when you do that? They do. Okay. They do. Absolutely. And run faster and jump higher. They're like the basically PF flyers the from the, sand, the PF the flyers, a sandlot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're they're uh, what are they called? They're um, oh, uh, performing enhancing drugs. Performance enhancing <laughs> vehicles, <laughs> but only if you put them in your ass. Right. They mm. give you all kinds of additional uh, statistics or attributes. Yeah. How about that? How do they? How do they test for that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they bend over and make you spread. Yeah. Imagine mm. going to a fucking like x-ray machine. <laughs> what if they did have to piss test you for that <laughs> to see if you have cars in your ass as we speak? <laughs> do you? Yeah, we could look up there, I know, but we need you to piss in the cup. And <laughs> We've got inside information that you have micro machines mm. in your ass, and we're going to have to take a look. This is when the show takes full circle, and you're shitting, uh, you're shitting micro machines out into a cup. Yep. That's it. Yep, there you go. Little known fact, that's actually what's keeping Pete Rose out of the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> if it weren't for the micro machines. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Well, it was the gambling. He bet on how many he how could, many get, he up could there. get up there. Yeah. Turn, wow. Turns out the answer is a lot. Yep. More than they had at Target that more day. Than, more than they had at Target. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, guys, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this week's episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. We sincerely do appreciate I know that the uh, 
the uh, what is it? The Dr. Seuss breakup lines video is making another round yeah, on on that. social well, media. Um, why? Yeah. Um, I'm guessing you put it there. Well, yeah, but uh, I do I do Throwback Thursdays every single Thursday. Because <laughs> you said it classic. like it snuck up on you. Like, I didn't know that was going to happen. It absolutely shocks me, though, to some of the jokes, because a lot of them got taken down whenever they were originally posted. Mm -hmm. And so you have people from all over the place that are like, this is where that sound comes from. It's like, yeah, no shit. This happened years ago. And so congratulations. Welcome to the family. Hope you had a good time. Uh, but that is how this show grows. And so thank you to all of you guys for helping us do that. We do really appreciate it. I want to say thank you again to Mr. JP for coming Absolutely, out. Absolutely, man. I yeah, love it. I love awesome. being here, man. You're awesome. You're a favorite on the show, dude. Everybody <laughs> says it. And by the way, thank you too, Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> by the way, right thanks on. for coming back too, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, uh, again, thank you very much to all of you folks that are sharing the video, both videos of Jeremy Joseph throwing out the first pitch. Oh, I actually awesome. did. Uh, message the person that threw out the first pitch with Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> I found them and uh, they laughed. Oh, what's he got to say? Uh, you what suck. The fuck <laughs> he got to say? You suck. That's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, but anyways, yeah, at pitching. Yeah, at pitching. But if he wants to take it to second base, It'll where we can field. Yeah. Oh, I got that guy. I'm sure I got you do. him. I'm sure he you wears do. his glove on the wrong hand. Sure does. But anyways, guys, thank you very much. Sincerely, from the bottom of our hearts, we really do appreciate all that you guys do for following us and for sharing our things on all of our social medias. Go to at LOT Sidelines on Twitter and at Laughing the Sidelines on Instagram. And as always, at Laughing OT Sidelines on TikTok. Thank you guys so much. And as we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope somebody chooses your coffee cup to leave their colon cancer test in. <laughs> oh, God. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, it's banana o'clock. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.